All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Ruthless Aggression GM mode back in. It's the backlash from backlash. And, uh, you know, a couple of us are feeling a little tired than others. You can see the standings there on the screen. So WCW does have the most fans, but SmackDown, uh, courtesy of knocking out some missions. I don't even know what to call those challenges, I guess. Uh, got their first trophy. The first trophy any of us have gotten. So SmackDown second in fans, but first in the standings with that trophy. I am sitting in third after we'll find out this episode for sure. Uh, but I believe making a couple horrid mistakes um, and forgetting to uh, use the cards that increase uh, the match quality that I intended to use. And then for Cheek on the Raw side of things, things got tough. Um, you know, after injuries hit, some cards hit. So, Canada, I'm going to start with you here coming into this episode. You know, probably feeling pretty good, but, you know, do you want to confirm that for the people? Yeah, feeling feeling actually really great being in first place, even though I know I'm being carried by the first trophy of all the GMs. Um, we'll take it. And I'm um, ready for the backlash of WrestleMania Backlash. And I think I, I, I don't really know where I'm sitting because I know I have a lot of stamina down. Don't have a lot of money to make new signings. I might have to have a WCW style week and just have like maybe three matches instead of four. I don't know. We'll have to. I'm gonna play by ear, but I'm uh, I am excited to be in first place. Yeah, and on my side, like I, I, I'm kind of in the middle. Like my show was pretty bad, especially compared to what I thought I was gonna get. I, but I think it was due to that mistake. I think I just forgot to play the cards. Um, you know, I feel like I've got rivalries building. I've got things going well. Um, you know, so as long as I'm not making mistakes, you know, I feel like I'm like a football team or a basketball team right now, limit the turnovers and you, you got a chance to win it. So I think if I clean up my act a little bit, uh, we've got some good stuff coming off the pay-per-view. I think we can, uh, I think we can get ourselves, uh, handled financially. We're in a tough spot. Uh, but I think superstar wise, health wise, we're in a good spot. And then cheek, I'll feed it to you. And then after, you know, you give your feelings, you can hop on in, uh, cause you're booking first for us here. Um, you got plus 15 popularity to both, uh, your men's and women's world champions with your shakeup card. What a tough pay-per-view. How are we feeling coming into today? Uh, not great. I know that this next, uh, couple pay-per-views we go through is going to be tough for me. I have a lot of injuries to deal with, some stamina issues to deal with, and it's going to be an uphill battle. I don't have a lot of money, so... I'm just going to try to see what I can do to rally and turn this thing around, but I can be chaotic good or I could be chaotic <laughs> evil for somebody because it's very true. Um, too. You know, I have nothing to lose. I'm at the bottom, so I'm probably going to be gunning for whoever is at top. I don't know. It's going to be top or WCW might get a shot if uh the, if he keeps talking shit to me in the text messages, <laughs> so I don't know. So we'll see. I'm just going to have some fun with it, make some great cards. We'll see how it shakes out. Perfect. All right. You can go ahead and load up that save, select it there, and kick us off. Also, Cheeky with a Legend Whisperer. Yes, I do have that. So, oh. uh, <laughs> here we go. So, so I'm going to cards gonna give a give a free legend, but make sure you. So again, we talked about this in the last episode. Ten weeks is what you're gonna want to do, but then you would play the card first, which then will turn those all to zero for one. You get one legend here for free. And just before I get to that, the store. So the bigger they are, run randomly falls count. I don't really care about that. I don't really do a lot of that match type, so that's good. I only have sixty nine nice thousand nice. dollars. Um, yeah, that's so I don't have a lot. Um, four hundred and forty three dollars, please. <laughs> right. <No. laughs> All yeah, right. So, uh, when as a reminder to just in case someone's seen this episode hasn't watched the playlist yet, which it's in the description. Um, you also extended the Rock's contract. You negotiated with him a little bit, so that is. I mean, we, you and I both were in tough money spots, but obviously, you know, you had to lock up the rock, which uh, wasn't a cheap thing to do. No, it was not. So now I'm gonna go. Boom! There it is. Get a free legend of my choosing. And yes, we do want to make sure he's 
he or she is of the ten week variety. Yeah. So that's gonna So top pop is obviously Ultimate Warrior. Um I could get Zeus if I want a nice heal. Um which is actually interesting. Let me look at my own roster. At the top I have a pretty decent mix of heal and face, so I don't think that really plays into my decision at a lot. Um, oopsie. I don't sign a lot of legends, so. Um, could get Andre the Giant, though. Get a literal giant. Get a heal. That would probably be pretty good. Stamina purposes, Ultimate Warrior, and he has the most popularity. I think my decision... Is oh. welcome to Raw Ultimate oh Warrior. Oh my god, the oh. main switch. Yes. Come on down. All right. So now let's just see where we're at with some things. Uh, Spike Dudley and Brock Lesnar is going to be the new featured tag team, apparently, for Raw. Other than that, I don't really have anything going on promise wise. Yeah. So that's good. Um, and then just book the least popular cruiser, which we might not have an option. So we're going to see how this goes. If Stacy gets booked this week, she is an auto win as well that from your true. shake up. And guess what? Stacy is going to get booked Ooh. this week. I'm terrified because her stamina is only 30. So they're just going to do a normal match. Mm hmm. It will be for the title, but it will be a normal match, and I'm going to pray she can make it through. So we're going to get that booked. Um, who's a cruiser that is at the least? Oh, it's just Hurricane. Man, that's tough. Did it say in a match or just book? Can you um, do promo? Let me see. In a match. In a match. All right. What card do I get though? Ooh, oh, I gotta do it. <laughs> and then I'll use it on. on I'll use it on Hurricane. <laughs> so, so I gain nothing from this. Um, Hurricane. See, I can't even go against Giant. Man, this is tough. This is tough. I want to have him go. I'm gonna have him go against Dougie Bash. It's not a great match, but I just need to get things booked and we'll kind of tinker with how we're going about this. Yeah. Um, stamina, I'm gonna use Big Show. I feel like he's ready to pop and we're gonna get him. Man. Big Show is heel. No, he's. Mm, we're gonna get him. This is awful because I don't want to. I was gonna do Jeff Hardy, but he's in the rivalry with D'Lo. Yeah. Um. Devon's hurt. The Bashams I would like to use for a tag match with Lesnar and Spike. He's a good fit with Taker, but one of them's got to go face. Man, this is tough scenes. I will say, it, so obviously if you're trying to get Big Show <laughs> rivalry, you wouldn't get it. But since Jeff is in the rivalry with D'Lo, it shouldn't like trigger anything. It's so, like okay. if you wanted to do Jeff, if you're just trying to have Big Show just like get you through a week type of thing that should okay. work okay you know what he's gonna go he's gonna go against Bubba he's gonna go against Bubba I wanna see just what type of might be a last man standing all right, we got one more match to piece through. 
Victoria's hurt. This is just a nightmare. I want the newcomer, Ultimate Warrior, to get a chance. I'm going to have him go against Spike for this week. And let me just see here. I want to get my show logistics taken care of. This is awful. Yeah, it's, the scenes are tough. I know. And uh, free I don't need card, we don't even have advertising yet. Mm -mm. I don't really need that. All right, I'm going to use this on somebody. Nice, and again, that's basically plus 30 by the time next week hits. You get 18 right away, and then the 12 for them not being booked. All right. I'm going to use it on Taker since he's the lowest. Just going to get him to the spa. So I needed that. Injury rehab. Reduce it by a week. Oh, man. Four weeks is a long time for Victoria to be out. But Delo's also got a rivalry. This is my men's champ, so I got to... I gotta use it on Kane. I gotta get him back. I need. I can't have him out three full weeks. So there's that. I'm not gonna buy anything because I can't. Um, show logistics are what they are. I just don't have any money to do anything else right now. Um, and let's see. Moolah, what can you do for me? I'm going to have her do a self promo because I need to keep a show booked with that. Mm. Um, I wonder if Billy Slugger can do some advertising for me. I don't care about her pop. And can Danny Basham. I love Danny Basham being five promo rating. <laughs> Can Danny bash him? <clears throat> He's in the Bubba Dudley, so I might have him call out Bubba. Let's see if that can get. Wow, well, it costs three thousand. Yeah, oh, just over. All right, well, we're doing some advertising. <clears throat> Got him. <a> Man, <laughs> all right. And then. <laughs> Let me think of Big Daddy when they're at McDonald's. All right. <laughs> this is just. Disaster. Somebody get this kid a happy meal? All right. I think this is what we're rocking. This is about all we can do. <laughs> um, Just got to fight. I will it. say. I know. My dogs are barking, man. It's <laughs> they're, not they're easy. Frustrated. They're barking. Uh, you get, the, you get another health spa, though, for the card. Um, I will say I don't know what triggers it, but how you had, like, the Legend Whisperer thing. You can sometimes get like offered movie contracts where you send someone away and get money. That's your savior. If you get that, you're back in it. Well, so fingers crossed for you. Let's see. All right. That's it, man. Tough. All right. Ooh. I'm not happy to lose my strap last week. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose <laughs> Oh, God. I guess so, John. Ooh. I can't lose you, buddy. So it is the, it is the, uh, you know, championship uh, reenacting clause. So we'll do that. You need some weeks off, JBL. Well, you did just finish your. Yeah, okay. Sure. Get some rest, buddy. Uh, Kurt Angle is not one to talk. He's had like yeah. seven oh, weeks off. Man. So. Here we go. Six power cards. As a, as a reminder, just in case, as always, in case someone, this happens to be the first episode of their watch for any reason, or if they've forgotten, after the first pay per view, I forget what the other two options were, but Canada chose to use a shakeup that guaranteed that this month all three of his options would be gold. So that's why he's dripped in it right now. I think I'm taking six power cards. Oh, God. Oh, no. To the moon. That's one. That's a really no. Good one. Contract and negotiation. Four weeks. That's good. That's good. Network oh, special. man. Oh, yeah. What Maybe that's hell? a pay per view. Can't wait. Free advertising. Wow. Oh. Us, I mean, 
Uh, even the, the last two have use, but those first four were all like heavy hitters. That flips the season. That's feeling pretty good. That's, that's a real big shakeup right there. All right, where is he's only got 37 stamina? What is going on? You had like three weeks off, brother. And I don't think they gain a lot while they're injured. True, that'll do it. Yeah, see, we have a very, very hurt uh roster here. <laughs> <laughs> So we're doing a triple threat normal for the women's championship again. Just to hopefully the the title can change hands and we get a, that. Oh God, the stamina is hurting. Oh brother, what if I just don't book a show this week? What happened? <laughs> what if I just use this nothing. this week? Where is my thing? This thing retain most of my fans and then not book a show. What happens really? <laughs> You just say that just makes me want to like throw up a random save and just do that to see what the hell happens. <laughs> well, I'm curious. <laughs> Not book a show, use that, and then do I, you know, I'm going to get a lot of stamina back. Because I really can't. Do it, you won't. It, you know. Do it, you won't. I'm too scared yeah, to do it. Try it. You have nothing to lose. You're so far out in front. Uh, because look at this. Everybody's dead. Oh. Except Al. Oh, okay. Oh, schedule running this week. Okay, I know what at least our main event is. Where is he? <laughs> Love it. Perfect. That's our main event. Oh, God. Um, we'll do this. I'm scared. Wait. Oh, that was the tag thing. Okay, okay, okay. I forgot we had something going on there. Oh, man. Mark Jindrak's going to call out Rico. We got, we're going to have a little rivalry cooking up there. We need to do some advertising. Who's our best on the mic? Jonathan. Oh, Mr. Man, he's just gonna take he's gonna take some uh some popularity blow just to get some uh some stuff out here. Uh actually I'm gonna open with this one, move this here, and we're gonna put our tag team rematch. Where's La Resistance? Versus the boys. Rivalry on cooldown. That's fine. It's just a it's just a rematch here. Yeah, you're just knocking out that promise. Yeah, get that promise done on WrestleMania or WrestleMania Backlash Backlash. And you know what? We might as well. Hopefully the boys can retain their titles. Oh, he's injured. Damn. Hopefully the boys can retain their title, but this is not really what I wanted right now. Um, do I have two weeks to book that? So the Cena thing is if the next time they defend the tag titles, if Cena is not in the match, he's going to be pissed. Gotcha. So you could take two months if you wanted, as long as you don't book a tag title match. Mm. So you could wait or you could try Cena with a different partner. If you're worried about the cooldown thing, you'd have, you have different ways you can play that. We're going to do that and we're going to do rig we're gonna get a new uh thing going here and maybe i should have put rico he's no we're gonna we're gonna we are gonna sign one person this week Ooh. and we are going whoa Shawn michaels has left wcw by the way oh shit oh, no. good eyes i did not i like saw him there but it didn't like register to my brain wait, that wait wait a minute wait a minute here. that's leaving wcw um, wow. I do need, I do need a heal, right? Because uh -oh. I want Benoit's a face. A face. He, yeah, if you wanted to have the match this week, or you'd have to just turn. Like if you did Sean, you'd have to turn one of them. Oh. If you wanted face heal. I think we're gonna go ahead and sign William Regal. If I take another look, sixty-eight for ten weeks, or a no, literal not, train. Two tested, two tests. I just saw this. Two uh, popularity. But four minus four stamina for two thousand. So I'm gonna take Regal. 
and he is going to put this here. And it is an open challenge. Where is he? Four. Then one might need a rest after this. Actually, no. Sorry. It's okay. I, I need to do a number one contender first. This is... Can I just put him against himself? Uh, let's do... Man, everybody's popularity is down. Good. Or stamina, rather. Um, Raid in the dark. <laughs> what about the red flame? He's still injured in the free yeah. agency. That's, that's <laughs> tough for him, man. That's real tough for him. <laughs> He's got to wait a couple weeks. Get cash suplex. Uh, no, I'm just going to do it. I don't really have the money. We're just going to keep it. We're going to do some more advertising. And it's going to be... Rico, apparently. He's really good on the mic, so... Um... We're going to book at... This, uh, the Capital Wrestling Center just to save 15 thou. But then we're going to spend another 20 anyways. So that's where that money's going to go. And I think this is our show. This is not a great show. <laughs> no. We're really hobbling together some matches here. Post but that's WrestleMania Backlash for you. Oh, let's look at these beginners. Luck. That's not bad. That's not bad. But that's an expensive one. Iron Man match. Don't need that one. Injury rehab wouldn't be too bad. See if there's anything I can do here. Health Spa. Uh, 18 Stamina. And this one is 6 Stamina. Who is really, really bad? JBL is pretty bad. And so is Rhino. I think I'm going to give it to... Well, JBL wants two weeks off anyways, so I'm giving it to... Right Get him back up there. 45 stamina. He's done for the... Two weeks left here. I'm going to give our four weeks to our women's champs to give her back up to six weeks, and that's what I'm going to do there. And I think we are good for this week. I'm happy. I'm nice. happy it can be booking this card all right i was gonna say hopefully i can get my budget back in line but you always got people to re-sign this is our north american champion so i feel like i've got to uh i've got to do it 80k i mean he's up to five star power he's been good he's our champion we got his match specialty he's happy as hell so the fact that he's happy as hell, I'm going to try to lowball him because I have the room to mess up his morale a little bit. If he says no, I'm still going to sign him to 80. But, okay, so he <clears throat> Does that go instant? What's it put him at? Oh, yeah, he's still smiling. Okay, cool. <laughs> Brought a new physical trainer. Ooh. Help with superstars to help him recharge and recover. Who does he want? Road Dog and Lita. For how long does it say? Sit out a show. That's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Um, for thirty k, it's solid deal. My superstars are beat. Take them long enough to train. Yeah, I assume we get more than normal by doing that. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. We'll give those two the week off. Road Dog does have a rivalry. Lita's is level two. <sighs> I had an off night. Next time will be different. True. Let him know. Oh, no. This is RVD about not being on the show. Ooh, let's go. Oh, uh, as a reminder, RVD said how excited he was to be on the pay-per-view. But because of a power card, I couldn't book him on the pay-per-view. Oh, God. Waste of my time. Oh, no. I thought I could trust you. Please be still normal. Oh, thank God. Wow. Slap on the wrist. I had him. Luckily, I had him super at, and that's why I made it, like, usually I'll say yes to promises for stuff like that, just because if he was in a bad spot already, we're done. Rodney Mack wants me to help him out. You know what? Rodney Mack's starting to grow a little bit. I got three weeks to do it. If I have a coast-to-coast -coast card, that might help, too. So I'll take that. All right. So I've got two bronze and silver. Over time, special superstars lose more stamina, but increase popularity of those by five. Triple threats cost less stamina. 
Fatal four-way matches reduce the match type cost by 50%. I'm between the two on the edge here. Obviously, managing Sima can be tough. I'm on uh, you guys are gonna see. I want to check how many specialists I have on my roster. I think I've got a couple, but not too many. So world's greatest tag teamer specialist. Ivory is a specialist. So I think it would do I mean it would help a little bit, but I think this does more for me. Um you know, use fatal four ways. I mean, we did a two of them at the pay-per-view. And if I was in a spot where the match is costless, I could have given both of them a specialty match. So I think I'm going to do this. Money's been my issue. So if we do a special fatal four way, if it's a normal one, it doesn't cost anything. But if I do a fatal four way, we can have that book your least avail popular available star for free special effects. Yep. Okay. So I've got three weeks to help Rodney Mac. And that's all on the promises side. Promises, promises. I didn't use them. Okay, so that's what that was. So I meant to use Last Man Standing and Tornado Alley, last pay-per-view. Literally just forgot to do it. Um, so I do have those for the future, I guess. So I don't need another Last Man Standing. Let me... I kind of want to buy that Vito Superstar, but I probably am not financial. Yeah, because I need to buy this. So we're probably not gonna buy that because this is gonna be a cheap show. Okay. Um, see so we're looking here. Interference. I don't know if a GM. I mean, it literally says interference in the name. GM interference should count towards this. So we'll get that. Um, this one we'll get this week. So we'll get a free advertising book card, which isn't gonna matter until later. That'll put me at four challenges. And then between interference and book shows without injury, that'll probably be the one that um, gets my trophy locked up. Um, okay, so let's let's just start with the GM interference. Help Rodney Mack. Billy Gunn's gonna be a little upset. We'll figure him out later. And then I'm gonna use this card, get a plus two show bonus. Makes the GM interference free as well, but hopefully that'll kind of help the show out a little bit. Um, and then we're going to do, oh, I can't do it this week because I can't afford it. I was going to do the Maven, how much, I think it costs 10, yeah, 10,000. Do I have someone I want to get rid of for five? I get rid of Christina Fury for nine, I might do that. Just so I can afford to turn Maven this week. We'll bring another lady back in. I like having six on the female roster, but tough times. Fortunately for her, Maven ended up in a rivalry. So Maven's going to come out. He's going to become a bad boy. And he's only got one promo, but that one doesn't matter rating-wise. Um, okay, so I want to blow off the Henry RVD feud, but... I don't have the money to do it this week, so that'll probably happen next week. So let's look around here. So Sting is in there with Maven. X Pac doesn't have a rival, but I kind of want to probably do like RVD and Randy, but I need to wait. Uh, Mark Henry, I could probably pair with X Pac, so. I don't want to accidentally kickstart a feud there, though. So I don't want X-Pac and Randy to really be fighting this week. So I'm going to make them be promo guys because I do want them on the show. So I go like that. We're going to go tag team. Charlie Austin, Shelton, Benjamin. They need new opponents. We're going to say, we're going to try Rey Mysterio and the Godfather. I wonder if it, I want to see if this still does cooldown or not. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to basically have Rey get a new partner for now. If it doesn't pop, we'll try someone else. Um, then, okay, Road Dog and Leader away for a week. We're going to let Jerry Sweat fight rvd 
And then we're gonna go. Triple threat. Ooh, I might do fatal four way. Actually, I am gonna do fatal four way because I could take advantage of that new. Okay, so I'm gonna go fatal four way tables because now that only costs me 12. Wait, what the hell did that card say? Fatal four way reduces the match type cost by 50%. But an extreme rules match normally costs 20 and it's letting me get it for five. I can't do it. I don't have the money this week. I'm just short. Oh, this is, is that, that card's glitched or I don't know how to math. Cause I would expect this to be 2,500, but it's 1250. All right. I'm good card pick Cody. Good card pick. All right. So the ladies are gonna have a tables match for very cheap. Oh, that's fucking sweet. I like that card. This is going to be in the middle. It has the rivalry, but the GM interference. Ah, I don't know. It still might be better than the other stuff. I'm actually going to put this up top. Whoops. I'm going to put this up top. And then we've got the rule change for Maven. That way I can kind of get him and Sting rolling. Sting will get a week off here, though. Ah, uh, let's give Randy the week off. We'll put Sting here. Let's go, Maven. Hell yeah, Maven. The Maven arc's going to be crazy here on NXT. That's crazy, though. I... They have that card coded wrong, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Or they worded it wrong. All right. I think we're... Yeah, advertising. Okay. All right, I think that's what we're rolling with. We get uh, free special effects for doing Triple H's thing. Very similar to you guys. going to kind of go low-key this week. Get the financials gradually correct. But I don't think this is too bad. And that Fatal 4-Way card is going to be a, definitely one I'm taking advantage of to get my money right. But we'll send it over to Cheek kicking us off with Monday Night Raw. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> potentially a disaster show. Let's get it started. <laughs> Big show. Big win coming off the pay-per-view. Carries on his momentum. Two and a half. And he hurt Bubba doing it as they start a rivalry. <laughs> Moolah. Oh. I didn't like Food her. off stage. And Hurricane Doug Basham and just a normal mid card match. Dougie. Rivalry. Dougie hey, hey. Billy Slugger. Not doing much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ultimate Warrior, his first match on Raw using the Legend Whisperer card. Spike Dudley says, One, two, and... Will it be enough? It's not. Ultimate Warrior gets a rivalry going. Danny Basham. Ooh, good promo. He's hot on the mic and your main event. Women's title on the line. You're very tired woman. He is. They're going to fight through for they Raw. Stacy Keeves, no injuries. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Ah. Both of them for five weeks. Well, they hurt each they'll, other. They'll oh, they'll my God. They'll pick it back up after the next match. pay per view, I guess. Holy shit. Raw's just Over shit. on SmackDown, we have an opener uh, Al Snow versus Raven with Kurt Angle running in to piss off Al Snow. See what happens here. Uh,. My thing's not thinking. Hold on. I was clicked on the wrong thing. Here we go. Here we go. Been there. Al Snow. Oh, it's probably a DQ. Mediocre match. Didn't like that. Mark Jindrak calls out. We got a little we got a little rivalry going here. Mark Jindrak calls out Rico. Says, I don't like your mutton chops. And Rico says, well, I don't like your little spandex shorts. So Ooh, that's how that one goes. Damn. Big card. Personal. Yeah, personal. personal. Shaniqua versus Penelope Perfect. Because uh, we got a little rivalry going here. And, you know, just showing her dominance. Absolutely just manhandles or woman handles, if you will, Penelope. This man only loses one, gains us 12 grand. We'll take it. We'll take it. In the mid card, we have Jean Cena versus Grenier. We love uh, we love him, even though he's a big baby. And it, 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 history will tell us that John Cena is going to be taking this match. Let's find out. 
Yeah, yeah he's, he's so exactly. Good. The, the baby himself can't take it on. We have a level four robbery ready to rock for the next pay per view. Enrico pops. Damn. Oh, he doesn't lose anything, but it gains us thirteen thousand dollars. He said. He says to Mark Jindrak, "You know how I got this perfect mutton chops? It's Manscaped, baby. So go to Manscaped.com, code Rico, and get yourselves your own mutton chops. Rico does it again. He's, he's, I hope there's a random content creator whose code is actually Rico, and <laughs> he's just like, getting some sales yeah. now. Shout out to Rico. <laughs> Shout out to Rico. And in our main event, we have Chris Benoit versus the newcomer, Open Challenge, William Regal, two specialists rolling on the mat together. Who is going to take this one? Chris Benoit puts the crippler cross face in and retains his intercontinental. He, he's going strong on the intercontinental uh, title run here, Christopher. All right, over to NXT. We you know, made mistakes in the pay-per-view. We're coming out of that pay-per-view. We're ready to kind of recoup things, but financially, we're still in some trouble. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna ease our way back to dominance here. But Rodney Mac reached out to me. He said, Mick, my dearest Mick, I need you to be in my corner. Be on my side. Take care of me. And I said, Yeah, sure, why not? Billy Gunn, these guys are level three rivalry. We help Rodney Mac. Rivalry gets level four. Three and a half stars, and again, we use the Coast to Coast card as well, so did the right decision putting that at the top. Sometimes those going to be worse, and then Maven comes out, and he said, at Backlash, my music hit. I finally got my chance to be in this ring on the biggest stage. You all were cheering for me. You were believing in me, but you know what? You didn't believe in me enough. Maybe if you had cheered a little louder, maybe if you had invested in me a little stronger, I'd have been the world champ. Instead, that old ass bum Sting <laughs> took my world title. So you know what? I'm done. I don't give a damn for the cheers. I don't give a damn for the classic line. You people. I'm doing things my way and Sting just know I got you on my radar and now he's bad tag team action world's greatest tag team uh took down to jerry and Rey mysterio but due to money and you know roster depth at the moment the way things are kind of shaking out with rivalries rvd and ray would also be kind of a sick team but we're gonna give the godfather the chance he no longer has the secret briefcase randy orton took it uh he's not here tonight to reveal what's in that damn thing but uh you know i'll someday stop giving blue balls on what's in the briefcase but today's not that day Shell Benjamin, Charlotte Hoskins, Ray here, Godfather. If this starts a rivalry, we'll run with it. If not, no worries. Two and a half, no rivalry there. Then we got Stig coming out with some advertising. He sells us $17,000 worth of baseball bats. Drop before popularity in the process, but we'll take that. And then RVD comes out, says, whoa, dude. <laughs> I was really excited to be part of the pay-per-view, man. <laughs> But I don't know what happened, dude. I got Liv Morgan. Just, you know, I'm trying to be what the times Liv Morgan got arrested for possession of weed. And so <laughs> Rob Van Dam, just he, he's he's still excited to be here. He's still happy to be here. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, fanny packs fall from the ceiling. And Jerry Sweat sprints down to the ring. And Rob Van Dam just simply kicks his ass, hits the five-star, pins him. And hopefully RVD will be able to finish things with Mark Henry next week, but we couldn't afford to pay for a submission match. But what will help us pay for the submission match is former world champion, the transitional champion X-Pac. He came in, he did his job for us, and we rewarded him by taking some of his popularity to raise $16,000. And then in our main event, we got a card that said 50% off fatal four-way specialty matches. Uh, in my head, 50% of 5,000 is 2,500. Uh, but the people at 2K think the answer to that math question is 1,250. <laughs> so I even double checked the card thinking I'm an idiot, but it appears that I'm getting like 75% off um, those cards or those right. matches. So great power card selection. So we put the four ladies out there in a tables match. Don Marie. One and a half, that is really tough. The stipulation did <laughs> not help us. So that is going to be a bad drama curve for me. But still excited about the card. It's tough scenes continue. Over to WCW. Currently, 
second place, but first place in fans coming off their pay-per-view. As Canada pointed out, though, Shawn Michaels was let go by WCW. Nidia and Precious Silver, though, they stay on board. Four stars getting their rivalry. It's all a four. Sammy George gets a plus two pop on the self-promo. Jamie Noble moving on from his crazy feud with the time traveler Ezekiel. And he gets beat by Rick Steiner. Two stars at level one there. <clears throat> Gail Kim calls out Jazz and says, we're finally going to finish this damn thing. Gets their rivalry to level four. Mm -hmm. Mid-card action. Robbery kicked off last week. Owen Hart, one half of the tag champs, teaming with not the other half of the tag champs to take on <laughs> Goldberg and Kevin Nash. And the half champs win it three and a half, getting it to level three. I'm just test out new partners. Yeah. yeah. And Ezekiel comes out and says, hey, man, uh, put on a five-star match. And if you're wondering how I did it, I did it with this new time machine. Isn't that cool, guys? And no one says anything. He's like, guys? And nobody says anything. He's like, guys? And then the lights shut off and no popularity was gained. And then finally Rikishi and Shannon Moore. Shannon Moore, the crews are trying to get the David victory, but Goliath takes him down easily. Four stars in the TLC match to close the show. So let's wrap up this week. We get good booking from WCW. Poor opening for NXT. Or excuse me, SmackDown. Sorry, I was predicting the future. Poor finale. There it is. For NXT. And then we get amazing booking oh. out of WCW because, of course. He's getting so slammed next pay-per-view. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> it's going to be like everyone's just using everything on him so we can have fun again. We can't let this be like iRobot. You know what I mean? Like, we got to fight back now. Exactly. Uh, on the Raw side of things, Big Show beats Bubba Ray. Last man standing. Two and a half kicking off rivalry, but Bubba is hurt for four weeks. Hurricane two stars falls to Doug Basham, kicking off a rivalry. Ultimate Warrior takes down Spike Dudley in Warrior's debut, two stars in a rivalry. And then the main event, three and a half stars, Women's Division on Raw continues to produce, but they also produced two injuries. Stacey Keyboard and Wendy Richter out five weeks. On the SmackDown side of things, Kurt Angle runs in. Al Snow beating Raven by DQ. How about Raven, though? 77 pop is wild, like how much he, you've been able to build him up. He's been his, com good. his complainants worked out. It's been good. Two and a half out of Penelope and Shaniqua. Shaniqua keeps dominating that rivalry more ways than one. Two and a half stars. Mm. Uh, John Cena, I don't think he's lost when we naturally sim a match. He continues being great. Uh, three stars over Sylvain Grenier, and that rivalry is now level four. And then Chris Benoit looked good against Val Venus defending the IC title. Looked good again tonight defending the IC title against new signing William Regal. And then the call-out progr program promo gets a program, I guess, started between Jen Drack and Rico. Level one rivalry there. Then on the NXT side of things, three and a half stars in the opener. GM interference helping Rodney Mack beat Billy Gunn. Uh, that gets to level four. Uh, tried to see if I could start a tag feud with Ray and a different partner. I don't know. I mean, maybe I could. Or maybe it has to be two new partners. No idea, but two and a half stars for that. We get two stars out of RVD and Jerry Sweat. And then our main event was our worst match of the whole night. I thought the four ladies with the stipulation um, would have the pop to to do well. And that was unfortunately not the case for us. So miss there. And then no call-outs or anything. And then WCW side, four stars with a level four rivalry now between Precious Silver and Nidia. Nidia getting the win. Rick Steiner starts a rivalry with Jamie Noble. Two stars in the victory. Uh, this tag feud, I don't know if Eddie Guerrero's injured or what, but Owen Hart has a temp partner, I guess. Uh, they beat Goldberg and Kevin Nash for three and a half. And then Shana Moore and Rikishi stay at level two, but Rikishi uh, winning the TLC match. Level four on Gail Kim and Jazz. On the Raw side of things, 40,000 fans to Raw. $78,000, getting them financials climbing, getting them worked up. Let's go. On the SmackDown side of things, 33,000 fans and $110,000 getting the financials up. NXT, 38,000 fans. Dang. $130,000. Thank God. 
Until I have like a crazy contract extension or something. And a WCW, Shannon Moore is a natural in TLC matches. They get 55,000 fans. They definitely uh, increase their fan lead $80,000. Uh, free special effects booking for me. Free advertising booking for doing the advertising promos uh, for the season goal. SmackDown gets another to the moon card. That's crazy for the commissioner goal. Raw. Much needed, needed health it. spa three. Much Whoa. Yes. So go. perfect pacing. That was your drama curve. So yes. despite a tough hey. show there, you did good. To, that's all you can do. If the show's going to be tough, hit the curve and you're still going to be okay. You get a veto random star off of that. So you can see there, you know, SmackDown still in first with the trophy. WCW has increased its lead on all of us with the fans, but we're going to, we're going to keep, Keep on fighting. So let me get my emails here to trigger a save. Because for you guys watch the video, you're going to see us all at once. But as always, um, yeah, we kind of split uh, that four weeks of booking here. But I will open my emails. And Billy Gunn, not surprised here. Not happy that we helped Rodney Mack. I assume that will be a little bit of a morale drop. Yeah, he's annoyed. So we'll work to get him back up. But that's the price of doing business. Rodney Mack should be pretty happy with me yep we got him happier so it's all the balancing act there that was and doomed. yeah i feel feel a little better but we'll figure it out so for you guys watch the video you're gonna see us time skip to the future and for us we're gonna stop it here let's dance all right, so I think as I hop into this week, I've got a little bit of a, I've got a little bit of a weird strategy I'm thinking here. So I'll start with something you know normal and basic before I get a little chaotic here. So we're gonna have a tables match between Batista and Tajiri. But, you know, I was, I was brainstorming before we hopped on here, and this is either the best idea ever, or the worst idea ever, and based on my recent ideas, probably the worst. But some could say I'm due. So, Batista and Tajiri accidentally got them in a level one feud randomly in the past at some point. So, I'm just going to push that feud. And then I want... I changed what I wanted to do. I initially was going to have RVD and Mark Henry blow off their feud this week. Um, but I think I might have a hard time getting new feuds going. So, I think I'm going to stretch that. If it, you know, if a card messes up again, I'll end it early next month, I guess. But to try to make sure Randy and Road Dog get their feud... I'm going to have them promo twice. So I might get this to level two, but I'm hoping that doing it twice, at least one of them work. I'm also going to have sting call out Maven having sting do it. Cause he's a better promo than, than Maven to continue their feud. But this is where things are going to start getting a little funkadelic here. So I've got this, challenge here to book a show with one of each of the match rules um and i get a random power card but then i also get my trophy completed i'll still get these other ones um you know i i like to try to get all these especially because it's free cards and these two especially be i know they'd be useful um let's kind of speed up that process last week we found out that uh or the last you know the last week of booking i should say um, I took that power card or the shakeup card that it says 50%, uh, reduced price of fatal four ways, but it looks like it actually reduces at 75. So I don't know if uh, people can't code or what. So we're doing fatal four way Palooza this week on NXT. And I'm going to use this to hopefully kickstart some rivalries elsewhere um so you can see in this one i've got three classes that mesh but two fighters so it doesn't all the way mesh perfectly on this one um lita's in her rivalry with don marie title won't be on the line here uh but i'm hoping ivory pops a rivalry with uh may or trish and then if trish and may get the rivalry i'll just turn one and it'll be like a ooh, they're tag partners that can't coexist wrestling classic then i'm going so that was twenty five hundred dollars then i'm going fatal four-way extreme rules for five thousand dollars and this one's going to have Maven, who's challenging. 
uh, Sting for the world title. So he want to pop a feud here. Mark Henry, we're going to keep him going with RVD, but keep him apart so the feud doesn't get stale. We'll time that up. Then we're going to go Shelton Benjamin and Rodney Mack. Wait. No. I'm going Rey Mysterio and Godfather. So Rey Mysterio and Godfather. Um, there he is. So this one, they all have unique fighting styles. So I'll get like the full like benefit there. Ray and Godfather are both faces. If they pop a rivalry, I'll same thing. I'll turn somebody, and if I can't turn someone right away due to money or anything, um, I'll just do promos to kind of bide time, and then or do multi-person matches like this. Because I mean, you can see there, like a Fatal Four of the Extreme Rules is just as much as a normal table. So like this card, it's a little risky. Like I can't do this every week, but we're doing it now to hopefully get things positioned. And then the main event is going to also be a Fatal Four Way. This is going to be a TLC between RVD, X-Pac, Rodney Mack, and Shelton Benjamin. So, again, four unique things. I tried to get a tag feud to pop in uh, week 11. Couldn't get it. So, if X-Pac wants to enter a feud with Shelton Benjamin, awesome. I'll book it. If not, no worries. But Rodney Mack's got a level four with Billy Gunn. RVD's got a level four with Mark Henry. So each one of these matches, there's a potential rivalry pop, and I'll make it work. If nothing pops, we move on to the next week. Um, this will hopefully get to level two. I trust this. I think this one will do better, though, because the match type of popularities, even though there's no rivals. And then the rivalry, I'm hoping, makes this better than these two in the middle, but we'll see. Then Randy Orton and Road Dogg will hopefully start a feud over North American title. Sting gets that progressing. Uh, Triple H wants me to do a backstage brawl, but it gets me free arena booking. Um, I can't fatal four way a backstage brawl. And so I'd be getting 90,000 to get back. What? 35,000. Um, I know arenas get more expensive at the end here for the last few weeks of season one. And then all the way in season four, things get crazy. Um, but I, th I, I still think I was worth it since my money's tight. And then because I was able to save a little money, I like stacking them up. I'm going to grab this card. Bigger they are. Falls count anywhere. Gets a higher rating. We'll try to remember to use those this month. I'm only going to take one of them, though. I could grab this one as well, but I'm going to hold. And I'm going to grab pre-match physio as well in case I doing this this week gets my salmon in a funky spot. So I feel pretty good about my show like i said i knew i was up next and you know new recording for us so you know i laid in bed last night and while i was crying myself to sleep i put this together boom beautiful let down uh oh knock it down i haven't had any matches in a while canada the You're fans are starting to forget about me. a lot of advertising, Vince. It's very I want to fight in the ring, damn it. Oh, it's very important. <laughs> all right, all right. How about cutting a promo instead? Another advertising promo, Thanks. perhaps? SmackDown needs to put its best in the ring. I'll do a good William Regal, so I won't interrupt week? you now. Bro, you're brand new to the brand, but you know what? I've got to make people happy around here, so we'll also do that one. Nice. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling very nice this week is what I'm trying to say. And also, we might be a little low in the... Uh, talent department again because sure. i yeah everybody is low 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 on stamina <laughs> not looking great um geez geez louise cody how would your william regal sound hello cheerio so, <laughs> you know like i can't do it i can't do a good british accent stop yeesh oh yeesh. you stop you with a little scallywag like Stick it's just not Hulk there. Hogan. Okay, Whoa! Go. I my brain just short circuited because I thought about British Hulk Hogan. I was like, how would that even work? How would he do it? Yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, if you want some tea and crumpets, brother. <laughs> I mean, right? Okay. And the commission himself wants a TLC match. So our oh, we are starting the show off actually. Oh, because we're gonna see if this one kicks off a little too. The cojones on this man. Where is he? There he is. The multi-person matches can be clutch for for. And Ryan whoever Rush. wins this match, whoever wins this match, gets a uh, shot at the Intercontinental. Oh my! Oh. Yeah. 
that over Raven? Here. And 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 where is he? If William Regal wins this non-title match against Chris Benoit, which he wants, he will also be included in a triple threat for the Ooh, Intercontinental. That's saucy. Ooh. I like that. I like that. That's feeling good. That's feeling great. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna give uh, the baby himself the week off because he's at 38 stamina. But you know who <laughs> isn't at 38 stamina? Rene Dupree, and because he is a uh, baby. What is he? He is a uh, fighter. Baby. We are gonna we're gonna pair him up against his. You know they've had a uh, they've had a little feud before. You know in it in the tag realm, but this time it's gonna be a one on one. Rene Dupree versus Rhino. Rhino. Hey, you know what? Oh God. Oh oh <laughs> oh! He was cooking. I was here. I think we can we do this one now. You're not hurt. Oh, Piper's still hurt. I forgot about you. Okay, never mind. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. Yeah, he's gonna be like not even around. He's around for three weeks. He's just taking his time off. That's not even. <laughs> Sorry. He's gonna get us one in skedaddle. All right, we're gonna do Scott Hall versus Val Venus. Luckily, Val Venus. Oh God. Uh, never mind. I forgot Vince McMahon is crying. Ooh. I actually Ooh. already forgot too. That would have been. Would have been tough scenes. So we're gonna go ahead and put him up against our freaking boy Al. <laughs> no, he's got the stamina, oh, and just because he's everybody's got the stamina, looking all nice and tidy, we're gonna go ahead and throw a little extreme rules on that one. And it's looking pretty good. We just got him do uh, some self. I mean, uh, anybody need a little popularity boost? I think our world champion kind of needs a little popularity boost there. Do a little call out here. Uh, uh, just because the women aren't fighting, so we'll do a little call out there. Get that rivalry up to four. And, you know, just because money never hurt anyone ever. John Cena is going to take a little hit on his popularity because he doesn't even have a belt and he's at 80 popularity. So he's going to do some advertising for Manscaped because, you know, he's very trimmed down there. <clears throat> Uh, so our logistics, 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 logistics. Um, logistics. Just because we only get the optional goal at the concert hall, we're gonna keep this one low. We're gonna keep this SmackDown low key, but we are gonna have some basic stuff here. And go ahead and take a look at this. Best friends forever reduces two of the robbery. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Best friends forever. Best friends no, right. forever. Oh, can I even use the week before the pay per view? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that one then. Forged Ooh. Empire negotiation contract. We're gonna leave it all, and we're not gonna use any this week. Ooh, we know we have two to the moons. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna save that. We're saving that for Ooh. sure until. So here we go. Eighty thousand five hundred dollars to book this SmackDown Ooh. at the concert hall. Not bad. Looking pretty. Sorry. Pretty what? Oh, oh my. Oh. I was just looking at like gotta have the at least the main event being a little little bit exciting there. So Man. we're just gonna quickly last minute so change of the card. For no reason. <laughs> I know, I know. There it is. We're booked. Oh my god. Oh, Alright. Bubba said he wants a new contract. Ninety-two thousand. How about sixty-four, brother? Yeah, he'll take it. Uh oh. Wants a new contract. A hundred and eleven thousand. Oh, oh, oh no. Geez. That's tough. Uh -oh. How about seventy-seven? Jesus. Everybody's everybody's taking discounts. Oh, no. See, this what is happened? where you should we talk about this on the stream. You should be able to read all your messages at once. Because I don't think it's gonna let Cheek buy this trainer thing now. Cause he doesn't have money? Yeah, because he's down to seven thousand. True. Oh no. I think it's like twenty thirty. Oh well, I don't know. Maybe it does let you. For one for free. For free. Ooh, oh, okay. That's why you have options. Spike. Hurricane or Dudley? Spike. Three options sounds great. Take him to work with Dudley. It's the hurricane. Can't pass um, up three. I'm trying to remember if Spike or Hurricane got a big. I can't remember who's more pop. Um, Spike got it to the moon card. 
Yeah, he did, I but I don't know if that's higher, but I don't know if offhand. I know. I feel like I've done a little bit more with Spike. I'm gonna go with Spike. And just see how that works out. What's up? Finally good to talk to you. Got your number. Hope you don't mind. What the hell? Cleverella. Text me unsolicited? Thanks. You can hire me for free. Ooh. Oh, you bring an extra free fans wrestler? for free. Hell yeah. You probably get, because Ashley said that, you probably get a boost like if you book her this week too, I would assume. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Tear oh, it up, bro. No. Tear it up. Come to SmackDown. Oh, my. But I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I mean, let's see what happens. I would say, I would say if, I mean, you got to say no. I'd be nicer. Maybe he'll stay for you. Oh, oh, oh man! Leave! Ooh. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> and you just said no, anyways. Nah, I'm good. Oh, budget? I don't have any money. You got seven thousand dollars. <laughs> That's what I heard that. you say right now. All right. Looks like you need some popularity people to take uh, hits. It looks like you need to shut up. No. Club or Club. Dude, I'm Team Clubberella, though. I'm not going to lie. Bringing in her fansies. She has to fight either Moolah or Billy Slugger. Got to be the Moose. Oh, you're just doing all three? Oh, yeah. Triple threat. Ladies are fighting with every women's title holder injured right now. They're trying to prove a point. <laughs> Literally prove a point. I'm going to go ahead and just put that in the mid card. <laughs> Bury that one real quick. <laughs> um... The Rock. I Rock. feel like I gotta <laughs> use him because he's being a little whiny biatch. Who does he get and used against, though? That's the question. We all get used. Um, Man. Hold on. Hold on. The Brock. I'm, ponder I'm pondering. I'm pondering. I'm pondering. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So my main men's champ is out for another week. And D'Lo is the title holder with Hurricane, but D'Lo is also out for another two weeks. So I'm going to have him go against Taker again. Uh-oh. Is it going to be down, though? <sighs> Dang it, I was worried about that. All right. Um, man, who does he have a good? You could have him. I don't mm. know. I don't remember. I think you could do a call out promo to somebody that's injured. Uh, okay, I might do that. So, like, if you wanted him, because it looks like you were looking at like Kane, maybe. I, I think, I think you can do call outs. Like, obviously, okay. the injured person can't do it, but they can get. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get Brocky Brock in here. Have him fight Taker for the title. Hopefully that does something well for me. Um, Hurricane is super popular right now, so. But he does have stamina. I might have him in a promo too. I'm gonna get Ultimate Warrior. See if he can get something kicked off with. Hmm. I'm gonna go Danny Basham. And then what else do we have to pull out of our tuckus? <laughs> hmm. Bubba's out for four weeks. That's insane. We're gonna have that big hoe get out there. He's gonna have to do something. Just poke uh, him on the stick, do something. <laughs> well, I mean, really, like, and I guess he's just gonna have to go against Jeff Hardy. All we can do is all we can do. Just gotta dig in and fight. Hope that. Triple H wants to send someone on your roster to Hollywood. My goodness. I have him call out 
call out Kane so does work. Nice. and say, you know what? The rock smells your burnt face, candy ass, hurt ass. I'm going to get out here and kick it and some other promo type things. So there's that. Man, I don't even have anyone else to get on the mic. Seven entries is wild. And uh, most of them are like multi week. Yeah, and I don't you're, even you're in, the, you're in the trap right now where they just don't get a lot of stamina back while they're injured. So, like, once they come back healthy, it's it still becomes easy for them to get injured again unless you get them, like, health spot and give them time away. Okay. So, you got 4,000 to play with. Well. I don't know if you can release somebody to get money if you're in that spot, but otherwise. Uh, injury rehab, that wouldn't be bad right now. But, no, I don't really have much. Uh, I'm going to... Hurricane will be busy this week. Yeah, so he would have that last promo slot. Okay. If you want to leave it open, you can, and then health bomb. But if you want that promo slot filled, it has to be Hurricane. I'm gonna use it on Kane. Hurricane. I need something, man. And then how can I raise somebody's morale? I'm gonna raise it on the I you got that card. That's clutch right there. See if that'll make him. Yeah, there you go. Look at him smiling. I know. See if that changes his shitty ass attitude. Um, and then injury rehab. It's only a week on somebody. So if you use yeah. it on Kane, he would be available right <clears throat> now. If you used it on, like, if you used it on D'Lo, I. I think D'Lo would be available next week because he'd have one week left, and that would be okay, the and this would be. And Devon and Kane, I think, become available immediately. So it's whether you want to use them for a promo or if you want D'Lo back next week with those two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this sucks. I was trying to get one, of, maybe one of the ladies back, but even if I do so, they're still going to be out for the pay-per-view. Yeah, those two would be. Victoria would get back, like, right at the pay-per-view, I think. Or maybe the week before it. Yeah. She's the only other one. Um, yeah, that sucks. That's tough. So I might as well use it on one of the dudes. I might as well get D'Lo back a little bit quicker. Yeah, and then, at least like give I me said, somebody. Because Devon and Kane are going to be back. That'll get D'Lo back as well. Yeah, so the ladies get three is just... people back next week if you did d because the ladies are just kind of screwed because stacy's going to be out no matter what so yeah. her title won't even matter tag titles won't matter because even if i get victoria back richter's still out so i think that's the route i'm gonna do well actually no Ooh. i might use it on bubba bubba because that'll get him back in time for pay-per-view his popularity is 72 And yeah, there it is. I, I, I don't know. We're trying to figure some things out. <laughs> what so. was your commissioner goal? Do oh, not nice. book your most popular giant. That's easy. Probably because he's, he's injured. <laughs> yep, because <laughs> he's injured. And yeah. So what card do you get for that? Maybe you get a maybe you get oh, another yeah. like rehab or health spot. Oh, well, to the moon. Good Let's go. To the moon. Yeah. Brock's got a partner with Spike sometime soon here. So, just something to keep in mind. Alright. And Spike is doing that thing, though. So, is he coming back next week? Or is he out another two weeks? Uh, I don't know if it's one or two. If it's two, you might be having right. upset Brock. Right. I don't think so. Can I go to this? One uh, week. Busy one week, so he'll be back. Okay, there. okay. So you just got to make sure you do that next week. All right. Spoiler alert. And then these complete five challenges. I'm only at three. Um, yeah. 
spend seven hundred thousand or more. Happen. Yeesh. The Maybe. A specialties you're not gonna you're not gonna get that. That's a really hard one to grab. But one more three star match, I think, is what that looks like. One more show with a self promo. So those two should be right on the cusp within the next week or two. You should get your trophy, I would guess. Well, I might do the self promo right now with him since it's all the money I can do. Yeah. <laughs> and then. All right. Well, I'm happy with it. I like it. I just don't like that I have an unbooked spot, but other than that, we're cool. Yeah, at least it's a promo spot. I mean, yeah. the, the computer randomly doesn't do promos, so it probably oh, right. it just is a missed opportunity to like get some boost something or something. Boosted Ultimate Warrior, welcome. Warrior. It's the second match. Oh, Danny yeah. Basham? Okay. And a rivalry, three stars. And, yeah, and I think that completes your three-star challenge, too. It does. Hey, got a rivalry there. The Rock and Kane. Let's go. I smell oh. your burnt ass. <laughs> Cleverella. Rudy Poo. New to the scene. Oh, Moolah ain't having it, though. Oh, Cleverella. Ooh, Ooh, Cleverella, though. Rivalry, though. Not bad. Dougie Bash. Oh, the Bashams are going to take overall, and I'm here for they it. They really honest. are. They really like, I'm are. I'm down for it. Jeff Hardy. Ooh. Smacks around big ho. Okay, match. I just needed a card yeah, build now. If this gets at least two and a half, you got your curve. Raw finally has a main event with some balls to it. Brock Ooh. takes the US three and a half. Woo All things Brock, considered, you clutch that up. That was pretty decent. We schedule over here. Hey, I'm scheduling over here. <clears throat> All right, and over on SmackDown, we have our opener, Chris Benoit versus William Regal. And a reminder, if William Regal wins this one because he's a little baby who wanted a rematch for whatever reason, he lost his opener match. I don't know what he did to deserve a rematch, but I'm in a good mood, so I gave it to him. And I said, if you win this, you are going to be added into a triple threat for the uh, uh, Intercontinental title for next pay-per-view. Oh, oh my! Does it. Oh, he does he's it. gonna be in there. He's gonna, oh, oh, okay. But Chris Benoit is injured for two weeks. That's fine because that's not the pay per view. That's kind and of I yours. Think. I mean, Regal probably got him with the the brass knucks. Right. Yeah. That's, playing dude, that's definitely what happened. Kurt Angle says, "I've been injured for a while, but nobody <laughs> nobody cares." They're like, "You're a GM. We see you every week. Shut up." <laughs> you suck. So yeah, and literally he sucks. So here we go. Vince McMahon wanted a match this week. Cried and said, "Hey, I've been cutting a lot of pro promos for Manscaped." I'd really like you to put me in a match. And I said, all right, well, you know, the only one I really got to put with you with is Al Snow, who's kind of been on a losing streak. I think he actually might have won his last match, but for whatever reason, he's the one that has to take on Vince in this Extreme Rules match. Vince takes him down. See, Al Snow just not getting it done. Okay, match. Uh, Shaniqua calls out uh, Penelope Perfect, gets that up to level four. That's perfect. We have a uh, just a normal one-on-one, -on -one, you know, the former tag, half a tag team champion going up against the current tag team champion, uh, Rene Dupree, one half of La Resistance. This might start a rivalry. I don't really want it to, and it does. I can see that one through. I'll try to see <laughs> the old classic Dupree-Rhino rivalry. Exactly. Dupree John Rhino. Cena comes out <laughs> says, you know what? I'm right looking really good. You know how I keep my chest really cleaned? It's 17, a lot more 2.0 from Manscaped. Manscaped. And everybody bought in. They bought $17,000 worth, and Manscaped pays out, as they always do. Use code word in our main event, we have a Fatal 4-Way TLC. And in the top, in that briefcase, is a number one contenders match, which will now be a triple threat match. One, two, we'll three, three, Damn. And Mark Gindrak. freaking Jindrak. JBL's injured Ooh. for four weeks. That's fine. We can deal with that. But Mark Jindrak is the number one contender for the intercontinental title very interesting very interesting uh, things that are playing out there i like it that. was smackdown also picks up a couple injuries that week too yeah, we did we did it's that time of year over on nxt we want to welcome you all to fatal four-way palooza where of course we kick it off with not a fatal four-way at all <laughs> but a simple one-on-one -on -one tables match batista and then Tajiri, we found out the other week, Batista not ticklish. So Tajiri's got to find a new way to get the win, and he does. He said, oh, I'll just use my buzzsaw kick. Three stars. Level two puts Batista through a table. 
Then the road dog comes out to the ring. Oh, fuck. If that goes over to him, I'll be so pissed. Road dog oh. comes out to the ring and says, Randy, there's all this talk about this damn briefcase. You beat X-Pac for it. The Godfather stole it. You got it back. What's in the case? But Randy didn't come out. We'll see if he has something to say later on. And then Fatal 4-Way Palooza officially kicks off with a Falls Count Anywhere Fatal 4-Way Lita non-title action here ivory may young trish stratus all trying to stake their claim but lita just beats them all anyway but we get a rivalry between Ooh. the champs because at the end of the match lita pinned ivory while may young and trish stratus were arguing about a pin breakup <laughs> earlier so maybe a little dissension within our women's tag team champions and then randy orton comes out and says you know what i didn't think i wanted to deal with you Road dog. I didn't think I wanted to talk with you, but I'll be honest. I looked inside the case. I know what's in there. And what's in that case is a North American championship mm. match. But the twist is road dog. I get to pick the stipulation. So at survivor series, we'll see if you're going to be able to survive with that championship. The fatal four way Palooza resumes with an extreme rules match. Between Maven, Mark Henry, Godfather, and Rey Mysterio. And Mark Henry actually wins a match. And after the match, he grabs the microphone and just screams for Rob Van Dam to come to the ring. He wants one more shot at him, even though RVD is like 6-0 and against him. Two and a half stars. Then Sting comes to the ring and says, look, last week, Maven said he's given up on these fans. Doesn't have faith in them anymore. And he blames me for that. Well... What I just saw was Maven lose another fatal four-way match. So maybe, Maven, the issue is never the fans. Maybe the issue is you. And then in the fatal four-way Palooza main event, it is TLC fatal four-way. And inside the briefcase, it's a stream classic. It is a coupon, two Burger King, one Whopper, and a medium fry. No drink, though. You got to buy your own drink. And X-Pac! Known Burger King Ooh. lover in a four-star match. And as mentioned in the booking, was totally cool with getting a rivalry between X-Pac and Shelton. If I get it, I'll book it. And we got it. X-Pac mm -hmm. going to enjoy him a Whopper and medium fry tonight after the show. What drink is he buying? You gotta. I mean, maybe he doesn't buy one. I don't know. I don't know what type of money, mm. you know, X-Pac is carrying around these days. Oh, yeah. I'm sure XT um, isn't paying well. Yeah. I'm just going to point out here that it looks like WCW has some kind of like shake up or card to make their uh, promos super cheap. Ooh, you are spot on. They definitely do. Self promos are 6.5. I think those are normally 25. 25. Yeah. yeah like, Callouts are 3,000 because you booked, you had one of those booked too. So, yeah. Yeah. They've got cheaper promos going currently. We also stumbled into, um, none of us were signing a free agent, but uh, before hopping on, you know, officially recording WCW. Not only did they release Shawn Michaels, which we did see on camera, they've also released Goldberg. So WCW shaking up things a lot, but the tried and true is Nydia versus precious silver and precious silver. A four star match. Her popularity is going to be above 85 after this week, a true Let's star go. of the industry. So edge comes out to the ring and he doesn't have anybody to fight anymore. And he said, Hey, I'll fight. Anybody walks in the ring and zero people responded. Then one half of the tag team champions, Owen Hart, teams up with Matt Hardy, v one And tonight's Matt Fact is he buys his forearm tape exclusively at Walgreens. Go visit your local Walgreens today. Non-sponsored, and they beat the time traveler Ezekiel and Rick Steiner in a three-star match. The I generated Chavo Guerrero cuts a charity promo, and it did not go that well. Gets a 1,000 fans. He's just looking for someone to fight for the hardcore title again. A couple people maybe try to stick their claim. Rikishi and Shannon Moore have been going at it for weeks. Tables match for those two. And Shannon Moore gets the win in a three and a half star match. The rivalry goes to level three. Then Jamie Noble calls out Rick Steiner and says, man, I can't believe you team up with my old rival, Ezekiel, like that. You disgust me. And that gets to level two. And then the main event, these two have been battling for this women's championship. They've been battling for the women's tag championships. Jazz and Gail Kim. Gail Kim putting the title on the line, nice. losing it. Back to Jazz in a four-and-a-half-star main event. 
So to give our rundowns here, good booking for right. Raw. A poor opening for SmackDown. Poor opening for NXT. And amazing booking for WCW. So to run down Raw. Uh, three stars, Doug Bat or excuse me, Danny Basham, classic mix. Wow. It's tough. <laughs> all, I, all I see is two superstars, you know what I mean? Literally. Two guys taking over the industry. Hmm. And he takes down Warriors, certainly rivalry, three stars. Clubberella, free signing. Comes in, shows her worth, but Moolah gets the win. They have a rivalry. Billy Slugger was also in the match. Jeff Hardy defeats Big Show while the two guys wait for their, you know, their rivals to get healthy. Two and a half stars. And then the main <laughs> event, Brock Lesnar unseats The Undertaker as the champion of the United States. Three and a half stars kicking off a rivalry. And then The Rock is starting his rivalry with world champion Kane, who is due back next week on SmackDown. Stay tuned. Two stars in the opener. William Regal wins non-title action. Benoit out for a couple weeks with an injury. Regal and our main event winner are going to be waiting for him. Vince McMahon, two and a half stars, takes down Al Snow in an Extreme Rules match after demanding to be in the ring. Rhino and Rene Dupree start their rivalry. Two and a half stars. Rhino still holding some animosity, maybe, after losing those tag titles. And then Mark Jindrak, three and a half stars, earns number one contender for the Intercontinental title in the TLC match. And then Penelope goes to level four with her rivalry after getting called out by Shaniqua. NXT side of things, I overvalued. Um, wait, why does it say? Oh, because the second one got three and a half. Okay, I got confused. Three stars out of Batista to Jiri. We get them to level two. Tajiri winning the tables match. The first of Fatal 4-Way Palooza. Mae Young, Trish Stratus arguing after the match. Uh, but Lita grabs the win. Mark Henry actually wins a match. Fatal 4 action, two and a half stars there. No rivalry. Uh, and then the main event, X-Pac wins the TLC match. Gets that big Burger King coupon and uh, has a rivalry with Shelton Benjamin, who was very envious that he didn't get a Whopper. Uh, thank God I double booked this promo because Road Dogs didn't work. Randy Orton's did. Uh, so they've got an upcoming North American title match. And then Sting gets his rivalry to Maven with level two. For the WCW. Um, okay, so I'm intrigued how the computer handles this because I don't remember. So you can see it there. Nidia's Precious Silver is a stale rivalry. So we'll see if you know they keep booking it beyond this week, um, or if they actually like give that time to breathe. Um, that's where you know we've talked about. You know we might have to gun after the computer. Could force them to leave some stale feuds and either bail out on them or just keep booking them mindlessly. Owen Hart. I'm assuming Eddie Guerrero is injured and we just didn't see it. I don't know why he's not teaming with Eddie, but he and Matt Hardy beat uh, Rick Starr and Ezekiel. Shayna Moore beats Rikishi in a tables match there at level three. And then same thing here. So this rivalry also stale jazz getting the title over Gail Kim. And then Jamie Noble calls out Rick Steiner getting that to level two. So our post-match report, we're all 34,000 fans. Let's go. $82,000 there for Raw. So climbing Might that bank roll up a little. Get out of a high school gym this week. Yeah. Mm. And those smaller gym, it, it can't hurt you a little on ticket price, but yeah, sometimes you just got to do it. 34000 for SmackDown, $38,000. NXT, Shelton Benjamin's good at TLC matches. I get 45,000 fans and $82,000. And then WCW gets, holy shit, 62,000 fans, $104,000. Oh. Good God, they're they're smoking us. All right, hey. so she gets his first trophy, oh, completing five challenges. Gets it to the moon card for his commissioner goal. Gets oh, yeah. the health spa for solid performance. That was the Need three that. stars. And then it gets free special effects booking for All About Me, which is the self-promos. SmackDown gets contract negotiation two for their commissioner goal. Oh, shit. Dang, I didn't get one yet. <laughs> so there it is. So, again, on it's the fans right now. The order on the fans is WCW, Raw, SmackDown, then NXT, but you can see because of getting that trophy, Raw and SmackDown are top of the rankings. Also, I did not get 
my book one of every match type thing, so apparently I do not understand how that card works. Ooh. But we're going to send it over to Raw two more weeks until Survivor Series. All right, let's do it. Undertaker not happy losing. Oh, he wants a rematch against Brock. Nobody else better get a shot at the title before me. That's the one where as long as he's the next one to get a title shot, you don't have to do it right away. Okay. Um, you just can't let anyone else fight for that title before him. Okay, I can do that. Because remember, Brock, excuse me, Brock is wanting the match with Spike for mm, it to yeah. partner with Spike, I believe. So we'll do that. Oh, oh, Big Show likes a little hardy. This might spark a... They can't spark new rivalries, can they, while they're already in one? No, so you can have a single rivalry and a tag rivalry, but you can't have two single rivalries. So the only way a rivalry would kick is if they both, the other one's both removed off for not getting booked. Okay. Well, um, you could do, I mean, you could have them in a tag match, a triple threat, a throwaway singles match that's not a feud. Sing. Okay. Let's do... I mean, call big. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> sure thing. Big. Um, yeah, I'm big. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it, because I don't know what's going to happen with my roster. All right, so I need to get Brock Lesnar to partner with Spike Dudley in a tag match. So I'm going to get that set up right now and we'll kind of start fleshing this out spike brock who's a good man that sucks delos hurt this week could have him fight for the titles <clears throat> i want You know what? The Ooh, Bash. Oh, yeah. Teaming up again. Got to be careful, though. Brock is very, very tired, man. All right, so there's that. Let's see here. Let's see. Ultimate Warrior. Have him. So that's where... Just to call out as well there. So, like, with Jeff and D'Lo, just because of the rivalry, you haven't been able to book it. So, that did go level three to level two. But okay. you won't lose the rivalry unless it – yeah, like, he'll be back beforehand. But that's where, like, Bubba pending where that's at, that rivalry could go away by the time he's back. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Well, let's go. Big show now. There's a better fight style with – Actually, I want to give Taker a week. I know this fight style doesn't match, but Big Show, Ultimate Warrior seems pretty fun. Cleverella continues the rivalry with Moolah. And... Well, we don't have much choice now, do we, boys? Jeff Hardy is going to get back at it. I'm going to have him go. You know what? No. The Rock is back. Nice. They're going with Kane. For the world championship match. All right. I think this will do better. We're going to put that there. Okay. So, he's got some stamina, popularity. I have him call out. He was in one with Basham, I believe. Yeah, Doug. Had to get the right one. <laughs> um, uh, Taker. Call out Les. And... Good to see on the mic. Three. I'm just gonna have him. Oopsie daisies. I'm just gonna have Hardy. We're gonna do.
Well, I'm gonna do some charity. And that's gonna be my show. I'm gonna go there. I'm actually going to save, try to save some of this money again for this week and not book anything there. Um, now let's do, so we got, oh gosh. You got 63000 basically. Okay. Man, well, I'm not going to buy any cards this week. It's not worth it. Um, I just want to look at my To the Moon. That's... Anyone six or less than, or 60. less than six? Yeah, I guess. Okay, I okay, okay. All right, so that starts with D Lo. D Lo, but for sure D Von on down. Okay. Who? I don't know, man. Maybe Cloverella. Do I get her into the fifties? I mean, that could and help. She, I mean, that could help. She's right up there you. with, yeah, she's right up there with Mulan and Victoria then. That kind of gets my women going. Or D'Lo can be set up to be one of the top dogs. I think I might glue with the Cloverella. Nice. Let's, we're just going to build it. Hell yeah. All right. She can be your precious silver. I, dude, I wish I had precious <laughs> silver. There you go. Welcome to stardom. And then health spa. Not gonna use on either of those, so. Okay. Ugh. This is not fun right now. Book 15 shows without an injury. Notice that I'm only like halfway. <laughs> um Man, that one really sucks. That looks like I've only got like two. That's to me, that's the t at least of what I've seen like playing and like watching other people do playthroughs. I think that's the toughest one to get because like eight's a lot. So like you'd basically just have to book specialty fatal four ways constantly and hope you find the specialties and you're just killing yeah. stamina by doing it. I know. Um, oh, nice. Another I'll, I'll get another. Oh yeah. I need the, I think that's it. I, as tempting as this is to do. Yeah. So like, so like with, I, I'm not as sure on the other ones, but like with arena, the risk of running smaller, it's like your capacity is 37,500. So at most you can get 37, five or whatever, you know, times the ticket price. Mm -hmm. That's the max you can earn. Um, so that's why for me, like if I'm able to get the most expensive stuff, I always do it. Cause like in that case, like, Yes, it does cost more, but you should be able to get more out of your tickets if obviously you got to put on a good enough show to fill it. But right, I might do one of these basic lights and effect or the room. I'm gonna do lights and effects. Flashing lights, nice. lights, lights. All right. That is it. Let's see if Canada's so happy this week on SmackDown. Oh, oh you imbecile! Jeez. Wow. They're not machines, man. <laughs> Don't care about them. Oh! Bob to his title shot. Wow. This could be the villain was that even in the, in the journal? Yeah, was that even a, like a... It might have been like an older one because he's got a lot of contracts expiring, so it might have been like... Oh, my bad, my bad. I was just, uh, I'm, I'm pissed. I was muted. But I... Uh, no, I said, no. I said, this is fine. This is good. This is... I forgot to look. I forgot yeah, to look. Yeah, we had to mute your mic. There's children yeah. watching. I screamed. I screamed, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you going to give me? Superstar training. What was your first deep. reaction when JBL called you an imbecile? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I was like, that's fair. I was like, I totally forgot. And then Rhino was like, you idiot. You might have forgot about that. Rhino. I was when like, I saw... That's fair, too. That's fair, too. I saw Brad Schultz. I was like, oh, shit, I forgot about that. Rhino, I do not remember that promise at That's got to be from last week. He's injured anyway, so it's okay. We're going to send him to the health spa. He's actually going to leave SmackDown in two weeks anyways. I, so so just, I'm just saying, if chill. you think you're going to let him walk, you it's might good, be able no? to get... I mean, it's not a lot, but if you know you're going to let him walk, 
It's well, I might as well because he's gonna. I'm gonna let him walk to take two weeks off anyways. I'm not. I gonna like his Rao's little yeah. angry face. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna release JB. Rhino's still like fine. That. Rhino's still smiling. Rhino's happy. He's you were treating him good. Smile. You made a mistake, but he knows it's he's been like, good on SmackDown. Yeah, he's been taken care of over here. Just JBL, JBL he's gonna spend. <laughs> He'll be <laughs> at NXT crazy. in no time. He'll pop up randomly. Oh, true. JBL is gonna spend some time on the free agency. Hurt, which means we might want to sign oh. somebody new. Doink, doink, oh, doink. It's always so exciting. I'm, when a, little, I'm a little upset that Shawn Michaels isn't sitting here. Somewhere. Shawn so, Michaels. We'll be back. We have oh Tori <laughs> Wilson. Well, she's not coming home. She's too expensive. I think we'll leave it. I, just, I gotta see if I need it. I gotta see if I need it. So this main event here this week ooh, is gonna be. Regal versus uh, the number one contender, Mark Jindrak. Just, actually, that probably won't be the main event, to be honest with you. The main event is going to be a tag team. Where are the boys? There they are. Ooh. Their popularity is getting up there. They're going to go They're going to go up against, well, geez, I don't really know here. We're, we're kind of out of options. Scott Hall. And John Cena. John Cena's got himself a new partner. Oh, man. And it's going to be Scott Hall. And it's going to be for the titles. We're going to have a guest who's running in. He's going to help his old partner. And we'll see what happens there. Actually, just to make sure we don't lose, or just to make sure the titles can change, we're going to throw that on an Extreme Rules match. Okay. I'd love to have those friends. It doesn't boys affect anything. against my Bashams. That's okay. Actually, we're going to do a triple threat here again to start off SmackDown for the title. We got China, Shaniqua, and Penelope Perfect. Mm. Hopefully, the title can change hands here just to make the uh, pay-per-view a little more interesting. We're going to look at new women for China to fight once she loses the belt. But for now, that's just what we got to deal with. China just manhandling that. And the only other fight I can really put together here Val, oh, Val, Val. No, this is where I am going to go buy somebody else. They're going to make their Val debut on SmackDown. Oh. And it is... Doink the Clown. Oh. Doink. Johnny Stamboli. Where's Doink at? He was in there. Now we're going to... I think we're going to go and take Ultimo Dragon. Ooh. I so. Or I can save some money and try to build up someone crazy. Like Doom like Carter. Carter. Red Flame, get a giant. Yeah, that's true. But he's... I don't need him permanently, to be honest with you. Oh. Or Jackson. Damn. Jackson too. Smooth and Jive Owens have to be a tag team, right? That's, that's, <laughs> that is true. They do have to be a tag team. But There's not no today. Way they have chemistry. We might take Dewey Carter and get crazy with Dewey Carter. Dewey. I don't know. Dewey. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I just wish I had more giants, which I don't think I have a giant on my on my uh, roster. Red flame, red flame, the, red flame. the base roster was or like the normal guys in well, this I, roster. I though. think I will go. <gasps> Broderick. Broderick. Oh. Only five weeks of Broderick, but I think we can get him really interesting. Five he looks interested in being interesting. Is... Promo skill 105, I actually don't like that at all. So there, sometimes the free agents or the jobbers can have good ones, so it's worth checking them. Yeah. Because, like, I grabbed Jerry like Sweat, his is one. fucking five. Damn. Most gotta, of them are one or two. No. Oh, Jackson? Flint, Flint no. Jive's no. Got, what? Tuck? Oh. What is this? I'm going to look at Legends real, real quick. Uh -oh, I might take Cactus Jack. Goldberg. God, why are they? They're so expensive over here. That's the only problem. Yeah, yeah. Goldberg. That basically, six star quality for star power. We are going to bring on. Oh, my. Wow. Who's next? Because you know why? You're next. Gonna use... I don't I actually know it. Talent You're actually doing that. Program. I'm wondering. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm wondering if I can. Huh. <laughs> use that on a legend or not but we're gonna we're gonna find out because i got him so so vince i gotta put vince man first oh. That's the way i gotta do it vince mcmahon says you know i'm opening a challenge to anyone on this roster i'm beating the best over here and we're gonna say 
Goldberg's running in. But he's oh, running I've been thought how expensive these are, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, running in backstage. Nobody accepted his challenge, so Vince McMahon walks walks backstage to meet Goldberg. Pretty badass, if I do say so myself. It is pretty badass. We're gonna have Rico cut a self promo. We're gonna have uh, Al Snow call it a Kurt Angle, and we're gonna get a little advertising. Raven. Raven. From Raven, yeah. 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 Uh, let's look at some power cards. No, don't need that. Don't need that right now. Um, I think I'm gonna use a Hell Spa on Kurt Angle because we're not using it this week, anyways. Get him back up there. Oops! Don't oh. do that. Please don't do that. Ooh. And. We're going to, I think, I think we're going to, wait, is Val Venus a permanent fixture on this brand or is he? Uh, I think he is. He yeah. can be if you want him to he be. He is. He is. So you know who's going to the moon? Penelope Perfect. Val Venus, baby. Hello, Pluto. We're going to get him up there. We're going to get him up there. Okay. I'm feeling good. Uh, we're going to do, so we're not going to be in the, uh gonna be at the capital wrestling center we're gonna have a backstage crew a little bit of uh you know basic lights i think that's my it. not buying anything we're leaving it we're checking this really quick i gotta book some iron man matches or something oh that's gonna be good i'll have one of those and that's uh it's an expensive oh god that's an expensive smack nice <laughs> oh I can't oh. do it. I can't. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Oh. I'll cut it in half and make it a steel cage match. Yeah. The wow. There it is. The Lodi boy special. Oh, May Young. You, girl, you are getting extended. You're a blank, <laughs> blank check. 67K? Yeah. Wait, how happy is she? She's just <laughs> satisfied, so I'll pay her what she's asking for. Sounds good, May. Look forward to Great. seeing. I also baked you some cookies. Fun. Okay, Hunter, you can come down a little bit. Wait, give me something. Actually, hold on. Yeah, free legend. Let's fucking go, Whoa. baby. Shame I can't bring in Goldberg, but we'll find somebody worth. Doink the clown. Nice. I was I was gonna get upset with him, and then I remembered he said that cheat a couple weeks ago, and he got a card, so I like it. Whatever my next match is, I want a win. Ooh, I think I'm going to fix match. Everyone wants to team with Rob Van Dam, which is fair. Because X-Pac, or Rob Van Dam wanted to team with X-Pac, I guess. But now Tajiri wants to team with him. We've got three weeks to do it. I need to keep RVD and Henry kind of away from each other so it doesn't get stale. So we'll, uh, we'll make this work. I could do a tag match today. I don't think it would add anything to it, so... All right, have at least a, one tables match for injury rehab. That's easy. Yes. Okay, this is the thing. Yeah, I definitely thought I did this. Book a show with one of each of the match rules. I did. I took that as like each match is a different match type, but it didn't trigger. So I don't know if it's got to be a pay per view to make that happen. But I'm gonna probably not just like go out of my way to try for that because I did tables. I TLC, Extreme Rules, and Falls Count Anywhere, and it didn't go. Um, I wish they would be better about showing, like, a progress on that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like you either did it right or you didn't. Because right. if, if it was book each match type, I obviously would have a progress bar. So I don't know if it's worded poorly and it's got to be at the pay-per-view or if that's just, like, a glitched challenge. But I think I have a glitched shake-up, so I guess it balances out um shows thought injury i think i need like two or three more i need that looks like two to me two more shows with interference and three iron man matches um okay so come over here we got veto star we got hell in a cell we got a fixed match if i don't have one i might grab another one though i'm gonna grab that for now just so i have the extra one I'm just going to put this on Ivory now so I don't forget. I don't even know if she's going to have a match this week, but this will uh, 
guarantee she wins her next one whenever the hell that is until i like forget that i did that like a month from now okay um let's get these situated okay and then i also get a free legend so i want someone for 10 weeks so zeus bruno macho man obviously i gotta use the card first um harley race shane mcmahon hawk that they rode daddy stephanie alundra okay i might go zeus because giants are tough to come by zeus and I mean, we'll just kind of figure out what I've got kind of everybody busy, but I mean, it's a free legend. So might as well grab it and I'd get him to like week 23. So I'd only have to like give him a small extension one time or use a negotiation. So let's go ahead and do that. I have no idea what my plan is with him yet, but that's, we'll find a way. We'll find a way. He can be part of fatal four way Palooza if, if anything, until he finds his dance partner. Okay, there it is. Ten weeks for free. Welcome, Zeus. I appreciate it. Honor to have you. Okay, so let's do this tag team. RVD. Okay, so RVD and Henry drops to level three, which I'm cool with because I can build that up to four again. But I'll do that. Start working on that next week. I want to knock this out while I'm thinking about it. Let's do Zeus and... See if I can find a just get lucky and get a heal that he has chemistry with. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Zeus and Jerry Sweat. So it's probably not gonna be the opener. Ooh, RVD's looking rough same wise. Do I have a pre-match physio? I do. Okay, let's use that. Great. Okay, then. I think we take advantage of the Palooza. Triple H one of the tables match. So Road Dog, Randy Orton, Sting, and Maven. Let's see if we get advancement on those. Then we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna have we're gonna have we're gonna have Trish go heal. Then we're gonna go May Young versus Don Marie. Or no, I can't do that because Trish is in the promo. Okay, so we'll hold that match for now. So let's go. We'll just go Lita and Don Marie. I'm actually going to go with that here. Let's put the title on the line. Their stamina is pretty good. So we're going to give them an Iron Man match, knock one of those out. And then let's do. We're going to see if I get lucky here. So I know this doesn't it move the X-Pac and Shelton feud, but it kind of got me thinking about this. If I get a tag feud off of this, cool. If not, no worries. So those will, the tags will be in the middle. We've got the specialty matches on the outside. And then Billy Gunn's been off for a couple weeks. So let's give him self promo. And then let's have Young claw Trish, I think, is what I want to do here. Let me see if I want to go somewhere else with that. Yeah, because I can I'll wait till next week to get that up. Batista and Tajir, I'm not overly worried about. Godfather doesn't have anyone to feud with right now, but he could maybe feud with Zeus down the road. I won't sweat that. Um, so, yeah, let's have Zeus. Zeus. Bam. Okay. So, now, looking at power cards... I don't have a veto star. I'm going to, we're going to, WCW is going to get humbled at the pay-per-view, but I also want to have stuff in case there's humbling elsewhere. So I need to cut $2,000. So we're going to, we're going to wait on the roll change. 
And I'm gonna double pop this, or try to. So I'll do the roll change later. They're, so they're still determining who the crowd's behind. Okay, so that's happening. That will happen when the time comes. I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. Lock it in. Send it in. Ooh, that's a card, all right. It's a beautiful card. You're down to about five G's. Hopefully, the show brings a lot of money. Money, 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 money. Speaking of money, the bash of Hell yeah. All right, Brock wanted this uh, partnership for some reason with Spike. So there's got to be some type of chemistry there, but. Uh, I feel like the Basham's just a nice, solid team. It's going to be a good one. All right, see? Basham's. Can't Ooh, two levels on a rivalry to start, though. Ooh, wow, that's pretty saucy. All right, I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, Let's see. Nothing there on trying to upgrade their rivalry. So there is that. Clubberella. Her rise to fame. Let's see what happens. All right, she wins the next match. Rivalry grows. Her star rises. Rivalry mm. grows. Lesnar in a lot of rivalries at the moment. Um, Ultimate Warrior, Big Show, just filling out the card here. Ultimate Warrior. All right, all right, all right. Jeff Hardy for charity. And your main event. Does the title switch hands? No. Ooh. Kane, first week back from injury. Rivalry grows. Great main event. On to letdown. On to we, letdown. Never letdown. We always call it SmackDown over here. I can't believe you'd even think SmackDown is a letdown with a steel cage opener with a brand new legend on the card against Vincent Kennedy McMahon. And we got uh, the Put me in a cage. cage with that son of a bitch. We really want a robbery to kick <laughs> off here. Vince McMahon, okay. Oh, Take yes. down the new challenger, Goldberg. Goldberg's gonna want his revenge on that one for sure. McMahon's showing he's got you know he's got the uh, chops to be up there. Even though he's wearing a suit. Raven goes down by three, says Look, I don't, it's clear I don't use Manscaped that much, but you should probably still check them out. And over to the mid card, we got our women's title match. China putting it up on the line against Shaniqua and Penelope Perfect. China basically saying, please take this off my hands. I really don't have anyone to fight for the pay-per-view. Uh, so please, for the love of God, let me lose. And she does. Shaniqua pulls it off, pinning Penelope Ooh. Perfect. Amazing. Maybe not because the rivalry didn't go up. So, but anyways, Al Snow calls out the general manager, says, you know how long you've been holding our our world championship without putting it on the line? He doesn't even remember the last time Kurt Angle has put his title up. Kurt Angle says, I'm in the spa. I don't really care what you say. So <laughs> Get his ass, Al. William Regal, Mark Jindrak, we just want to see here, who is the better number one contender for that intercontinental title at, at Survivor Series? Let's find out. Mark Jindrak just keeps winning, man. He just dude. keeps pulling through. A mediocre match. Kind of figured that was going to happen. That's okay, because Rico <laughs> self-promo gets him up by five. That's literally one-third of a to the moon by one promo. <laughs> wow. That's, That's actually power. insane. One-third of a to the moon. And in our main event, we have La Resistance against John Cena and brand-new teammate Scott Hall. But Rhino says, I'm coming in and I'm Goran. I don't, you know, I don't give a crap about John Cena or Scott Hall, but you know what I do care about? I care about going straight through the middle of a Rene Dupree. Let's see what he does. Ooh, Ooh new champs. New oh. champ. John Cena is injured for four weeks. That is okay. We can we can navigate that. We don't need the tag team titles at, on the pay-per-view. So that's fine. John Cena has a title belt back in his hands. We do like that. And things I like is NXT 2.0. And we only got one Fatal 4-Way this week. But the commission wants a table match. So we know what Survivor Series, barring any surprises, 
The Road Dog is going to be defending against Randy Orton. Sting is going to be defending against Maven. So, tonight, all four of them are going to step in the ring, hoping to double pop the feud. Road Dog gets the win. And boom, we get Sting and Maven to level three. Road Dog and Randy Orton will stay level one, but we'll take a three star opener. Trish Stratus comes out and says, You old bitch. I can't <laughs> believe. I can't believe I was willing to team with you to hold these titles with you, and you just cost us that match against Lita. I'll get my revenge when the time comes. And that goes to level two. Then Tajiri wanted to team with Rob Van Dam, former world champion. I understand it. We used pre-match physio of an RVD. And then all of a sudden, Jerry Sweat walks out. And he pulls out of his... Oh, it didn't even matter because they lost anyway. Two stars. I was going to say he pulled out the contract of Zeus from his fanny pack. But Jerry Sweat wasn't able to carry his load after the match. I'm hearing Zeus was not too thrilled. The Billy Gunn comes out and says, Hey, remember me? Remember my ass? Remember that ass? that I've been dealing with Rodney Mack with Survivor Series. You're going to get to see both of those things. You're going to see me shake it and you're going to see Rodney Mack shake in. Mm. Two fans liked what he said. Then Shelton Benjamin goes up to Charlie Haas and he says, I can't believe, I can't believe that X-Pac got my Burger King coupon. It was meant to be for me. And they plan to attack X-Pac in the ring, but Rey Mysterio comes out. A tag match unfolds. Playa, playa. Next pocket, Mysterio get it done. Two and a half stars defeating the champions. No tag rivalry. And then Mae Young comes out to the ring, and she says, you young bitch. She says, I can't believe that you cost us that fatal four match. I can't believe that I teamed with you to win. These women tag team titles, something's got to give, and it's not going to be me. And they go to level three. And then in our main event, what I thought was going to get me the trophy last week didn't. So we're sneaking in Iron Man matches so we can get our trophy. Get some, some missions accomplished. And I forgot to put the title back on the line. So all of a sudden, it's announced that it's a non-title match. But Lita still wins the damn thing anyway. So who cares? Three and a half stars and gets the rivalry to level three. In the Iron Woman the match. Show. Then we go to WCW. Okay, so they keep booking it. I'm intrigued. So we know that both those women feuds are stale after last week. So Xavier Woods may have finally met his weakness, which is trying to change up his match card. Nidia and Precious Silver kick it off. Precious Silver gets the mm. win. You it's still four winning. stars. That's bullshit. Precious silver is the silver lining. She's just too good. Too damn good. Shannon Moore calls out Rikishi. They get their rivalry to level four. And then, oh, brother, brother, dude. I'm back, man. The Hulkster brother is team with Rick Steiner, man. And apparently Eddie Guerrero is also back. Owen and Eddie get the win, and they get a level Eddie. one rivalry Eddie. out of it. And a non title match. Edge. Still completely lost in this world without Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Gets 3,000. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to miss him. It's fair to miss him. And then the time traveler, Ezekiel, goes back in time. He tries to find a, a fact about Matt Hardy, but he can't. So, Cheek, you're going to have to tag in with the Matt Hardy fact. Matt Hardy fact of the night is that he loves him some ass beating and he's about to do it to Ezekiel right here, right now. No! He didn't get to do the thing he loved. The time travel upsets the world champ, two and a half stars. Jamie Noble cuts promo and nobody cares. And now I don't know what to think of this. I thought Stale would like mess up the match or maybe it did. Maybe that was gonna be a five star opener and the staleness made it four. But Jazz won the title last week. She's defending it, and Gail Kim just takes it right back. They get four stars. They got four and a half last week, so I guess maybe it does hurt it a smidge, but not as much of a punishment as I thought it would have been. So as we close out the week, good booking for Raw. Poor opening for SmackDown just because of – not that it was a bad match, just that the, the ladies killed it. 
Uh, good booking for NXT and amazing booking for WCW. Sheesh. You hate to see it. On the Raw side of things, the Bashams get a rivalry with Lesnar and Dudley, Spike Dudley. That also goes to level two right away. Tag rivalries can double pop like that. Clubberella gets to level two against Fabulous Moolah. Winning in a two-star match. The Ultimate Warrior two-star match against the Big Show. And then Kane hangs on to his world title. Three and a half stars against The Rock. Uh, Call-up promo. Undertaker and Lesnar go to level two. Lesnar staying busy. He's, he is. He's popular. Speaking of popular, Vincent Kennedy McMahon wins a three and a half star cage match against Goldberg, kicking off a rivalry for those two. Uh, Penelope and Shaniqua is considered scale, but you know, after I saw WCW this week, maybe it doesn't actually punish you. I don't know. It'll probably punish us. Uh, but Shaniqua, your new women's champion, China, maybe can do something else. Mark Jindrak keeps it rolling with a win over William Regal, two stars. And then the new tag champs, Rhino, no hard feelings against John Cena. Gores right through Rene Dupree, allowing Scott Hall and John Cena to become the tag champs. Cena out for four weeks. And then level four rivalry, Al Snow calling out Kurt Angle. On XC 2.0, uh, the Orton Road Dog rivalry stayed still. Sting and Maven get the level three as Road Dog wins a fatal four way tables match. Uh, then we have Tajiri wanting to team with RVD. We had them face uh, the new signing Zeus and our low end guy, Jerry Sweat. We get two stars there. X Pac and Rey Mysterio get two and a half, taking on the world's greatest tag team. And their main event was supposed to be for the title. I, for I forgot to put the title back online. It became an Iron Woman match. But Lita gets it done. Level three on the feud now. Three and a half stars on the match. And then we get a double pop on the Mae Young. Trish Stratus rivalry that is now at level three. Now WCW rivalry is stale, but they get four stars. Precious Silver beating Nidia. Uh, the tag champs Owen and Eddie take down Hulk Hogan and Rick Steiner, two and a half stars starting that feud. Ezekiel beats Matt Hardy, two and a half stars there. And then the main event also a stale feud. Jazz and Gail Kim fight the four stars. Gail Kim getting the victory and then call out promo shannon moore takes down rikishi on raw dudley and lesnar get official team chemistry Forty-five thousand fans a hundred and two thousand dollars so a nice financial week for the folks at raw Not bad. over on smackdown sylvan grenier perfect for extreme rules Forty-four thousand fans basically 45 35 thousand dollars take that decent huh? Tajiri and RVD work well as a tag team. 46,000 fans. $88,000. All right. Good shot. Boo. Oh, 56,000 fans. Oh, no. no. $121,000. Once they get that trophy, they're un untouchable. No. I'm hoping they're nowhere near it. Next That's week, the only saving grace. Right. He's going to put together a pay per view next week. Oh, yeah. This is going to. Y'all are about to see us be the most friendly we've been to each other the whole time. Because now, what what's the, nothing's greater than like the. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. There it is. Holy shit. I was going to have a stroke trying to think of that. Thank you. <laughs> I was There's like, wait. listening to it. Jeez. Damn. Well, we get injury rehab on my side for the commissioner goal. Superstar training to smack down for the commissioner goal. Superhero in training. Shit. Health spa three for the commissioner goal. And no trophy yet for Xavier, but he is creating distance. Dude, so this pay-per-view, though, that. more fans move at the pay-per-view. So yeah, that's true. This is gonna be this is gonna be intense. Gonna now, this next week of booking is a standard show, but the reason we're talking about the pay-per-view, <laughs> this is where the a lot of the cards come into play. So some you can't use before a pay-per-view. Um, you would have to use them like at or right after. I'm not Maven. Oh, I mean, well. Maven and Sting are both going to need contracts. I do know that. 37K. Yeah. Bad. That works. Pretty cheap. Yeah, it is a, it's a five-week deal, but it's still cheap for five. Sting will be more expensive here. Is he happy? He's satisfied. I still might have to lowball him here. 
Yeah, I gotta try 60. If he declines, I'll pay it. But, okay, he takes it. He's annoyed. <laughs> we'll fix it. Oh, no. Pretty ruthless. Oh, man. All right, I will take free talent. <laughs> I'm pretty ruthless. My free talent. <laughs> you may have heard of me. No. Well, I'm a pretty big ruthless deal on the internet. And I'm ruthlessly looking to get my foot in the door professionally. Would you have any room on your roster for me? I assume that's how she talks. Uh, yeah. Put her, put her in a ruthless match. Ruthless aggression. All right, nice. We'll take, take that. Head. Tickle yep. Master Tajiri. And then Tajiri fired up about the pairing with RVD. Crowd was so behind him, and he's happier. So you could say he's tickled. Mm. So yeah, we've got the extension on those guys. Whoops, I want to hit. This is what I want to hit. Most popular bruiser for Veto Champ. Ooh. Who would that be? Hello? Mark Henry. Okay. So I dropped another level. So I think I'll just have RVD. RVD stamina is low. So I'll have RVD call out Henry this week. Yep. He'll get six stamina back. Then I have Henry call him out next week. That way I can get that Veto Champ. So I have another one. But I'm going to go ahead and not waste any time here. So... First thing I'm going to do is Cactus Jacked. Initially, I, I'd been, I was hoping the computer would not keep being good because I'll be honest, I wanted to use this on one of you two very badly. Um, but, you know, speaking for myself, I think if, if I beat you guys, but I finish second place to an AI, it's just not going to feel as good. Like, it'll feel decent, but I want to be number one. And the AI has been a problem. So what this card does is two superstars who participate in the next show get injured. Which means, I mean, our cards are probably going to mess up their pay-per-view in theory. But whoever's left, people are getting hurt. So, crazy. WCW, you're going to lose two people to injury. Hopefully that, oh. that triggers their downfall a little bit. Then, I know I'm getting another Veto Champ. So I'm, I'm going to save my veto star. I don't want to use them all now because they can sometimes be tough to get a hold of. But I'm also going to veto champ WCW. No whammies. And then I think I'm going to hang on to the other stuff here. Um, yeah, you yeah. used to. You did your, you did your part. Yeah. I have yeah, veto star was... I'm going to hang on to. And then superstar train. Oh, do I not? Can I not do that with pretty ruthless? Or is she considered like? She's pretty, oh, she's I guess not considered like the. I was thinking like the jobber thing, but maybe since I got her for free, I'm not allowed to do it or something. Yeah. Okay. I'll try again next week, but it might just be what that is. Um. Okay. So let's. We're gonna have a cheap show this week very cheap show this week we got free special effects for the pay-per-view i think i'm gonna peel back i don't want to peel back on the arena i'm gonna peel back on i'm gonna peel back on the lighting and we'll leave the crew the crew. And then let's go ahead and have RVD call out Mark Henry. Wait, it's level two, but it's also stale. We'll figure that out. Um, we're going to do, I know Maven is low stamina, so I'm going to have Sting call out Maven again. I'm going to use this health spa one on Maven. Where is he at? There he is. Get him a little extra boost going into the pay-per-view. Then let's go with Lita calling out Don Marie. Get that to or no, it's already level three, so let's let's yeah 
let's do okay so this is level four if it drops level three not a big deal we're gonna try climbing this up i don't it says stale but we'll figure it out um pretty ruthless i do want to put in a match she's gonna lose to ivory ivory wanted to win her next match but we'll see if we get a little pop out of that uh fatal four-way palooza since it makes special matches cheaper is gonna be randy orton and road dog and then we're also gonna do tajiri and batista it's like random you know fatal four hell in a cell as you do and then i need to schedule a run-in so we're gonna go godfather versus shelton with x-pac running in put that here we're gonna put this in the main And then we're gonna have Zeus and Ray kick off the show. They don't have a rivalry, but I'm gonna hope that uh, this having interference and this is between, yeah, I mean, that is a 29 pop. So this should be better than these two easily. And then trust that the match specialty puts that over. And then we're gonna go advertising with probably Billy Gunn. Oh, no, advertising with Jerry Sweat because he's got five promo. Okay. So I think that's where I'm at. Um, we'll need to do one more interference, I think, to get this. I don't know if – I don't think I'll do that at the pay-per-view, so I'll probably get that right after the pay-per-view. If everyone's healthy, I think I get this this week, which would get me my trophy. Yeah, I think we're good. And I got that veto champ, which will allow me to have veto star and veto champ for uh, pay-per-view four and five. Hopefully get more of those, but that'll position me well. I feel feel decent. Middle of the card's going to suck, but I, I think I got the curve, and we should be in an okay spot for the pay-per-view. Obviously, financials will be a little tricky, but having that fatal four-way can kind of allow me to dance around that a little bit. Dance, monkey. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> My contract at SmackDown is up at the end of the week. Well, guess what, Rico? Uh, oh. Actually, I have authorization to extend your contract. Ooh. First I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> First I've heard of it. Hey, Scott Hall, guess what? Hey, yo, I already have <laughs> authorization to extend your contract. For First oh. <laughs> no one knows about this. No one knows about it. Rowdy Roddy Piper. <laughs> oh, he just left. He just, he's just moving on. He's just he's like, yo, injured, you know what? So he probably got mad. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why do I have Kevin Nash emailing me? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, he might want to. He might be. That might be Ooh, like how I got Why Trish. does this picture look like a flirtatious teen? Because his stamina is 100. He's probably pissed WCW ain't booking him. So these next couple moves, you're probably going to get. I'm extending him just in case, too. The chance to get Kevin Nash. Thanks for the title rematch. I didn't, didn't even know you wanted one, but sure. Glad I joined SmackDown. Wow. Didn't they draft me? Suck up. That's Stick hilarious. You word. definitely told John Cena he would get the next tag title match like five oh, weeks ago. We just true, forgot. I did. 156K. Now, that is a... So you can... I don't know if the Superstar Info would have it, but that is a permanent deal. So you would have Nash the rest of this season. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No questions asked. Wow. I need a giant on my questions. roster. I need a giant on my roster. Contract expiring. He just left. He was just like, I'm, I'm yeah, out. You can do something with him. Well, I don't know if he's healthy yet or not. But if he is, you can bury him or just let him go. He's gone. Screw it. He's okay. Gone. So how are we going to screw uh, <laughs> Buddy up? What did you do? Did you do Vito Champ as well? I did Vito of... Champ, and then I'm going to injure two other people. <laughs> is that a threat? Yeah. I'm also going to veto a champ <laughs> on WCW. Imagine if we still just get our shit rocked. If we get our shit rocked <laughs> pay-per-view, the series is over, folks. You've been enjoying the series. And I think I'm going to cripple him financially as well by uh, <laughs> hitting him with a double oh cost. Oh, my God. This is funny. This is like 
we're like the the peasants and we're rising up against the authority and we're oh just my. gonna beat a random superstar oh my let's go we're doing it all <laughs> oh man and to make sure you can't screw us I'm gonna double, his, uh, <laughs> double his cards screw you xavier okay oh, there we man. go we did it all we said it all <laughs> laying the smack down on him perfect no we're not doing that <clears throat> uh to the moon no we're not gonna use that yet oh, not, we've used too many this week we gotta chill we gotta chill we gotta chill chill daddy that was an adrenaline okay. rush right there i'm gonna hit my that healer real quick dude, dude he pretty took pretty a lot cool. of anger out all right we're looking pretty good here we're gonna get a uh we're gonna try the uh the cody hollis special here and do two Ooh, call outs in a row man. here to try to get that at least up to level three, if not four. Because it's at level two right now. And I'd like it to at least get to level three. Maybe like uh, that's it. a stale thing, so I can't book them in a match. Uh, I might have... Ooh. Let's try to injure him. What does my commissioner go to? We have at least one falls count anywhere match this week. Guess what? That's our opener. <laughs> oh man, Goldberg might get injured though. Ugh. Someone's Don't have anybody hurt. else that can take him on. 47 is a little better than 38. John Cena's injured. You know what? I'll let Rhino get a go at him. Oh. In a falls count anywhere match. Uh, and then Kurt Angle might actually have. No, he's. he's... He, what am I talking about? He's chilling. He's just chilling. Damn. This is a really hard thing to book for me right now because I don't. I want people feeling good for the pay per view, right? Yeah. And I don't get Kevin Nash this week. It looks like. No, you will get him. Yeah, his debut for you will be. Why can't I get him last week? I would have put him with. Oh come on. Uh, okay, we're gonna put Val Venus in a match because he's got some stamina against. Good lord, this pool is not looking great. <sighs> I can't make it a world oh. title. We need some jobbers. I need jobbers really badly. And you know what I actually might do? Because I'm a little nervous this week. Where's that one? Uh-oh. Ooh, okay, okay. Hey, I respect that. All right. Because, yeah, I need, I'm need. i going to need to retain some fans here. I might even not even book a match, to be this honest is, with you. You won't. I might. Uh Oh, the boys aren't there anymore. Damn. Yeah. Oh, he's... He's... Did... WCW, somebody sign a uh, jive. That's what I'm wondering. Well, so each I'm week wondering. this list changes, though. Uh, okay. It's same thing with Legends. Like, not everyone will be there every week. Cash suplexes. We're going to go ahead and take... I don't want somebody permanent. I don't need to spend that much money. Stack McSlacks. Nova Northern Light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that. And I think Come we on, actually man. might take Stacks McSlacks. <laughs> or you can grab Rose Cade. It's not bad, though. And that's a. Uh, he would potentially have team chemistry with Jindrak later on. Lance Cade. And Born. we're also going to sign one last person. I wish he wasn't permanent. I would do anything for him not to be permanent right now. Spoiler. Rob Conway for 139000 Who would do that? Please tell me. There's JBL. <laughs> JBL. We're going to grab uh, Gunther McGurther. 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 Oh, the girthy, <laughs> girthy baby. Oh, okay. I'll show you some girth. This is a godforsaken paper. No, pre pay per view. Sorry. Well, this kind of weird. Really it's like how I assume they still do, but how like WWE, like the last like SmackDown before WrestleMania would always be a garbage show because you don't want to get anyone injured. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm just going to have to do it all season. No, because we need that for the pay per view. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Damn it, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Vince McMahon back on his advertising grind. And I'm just going to have to go Penelope Perfect versus Northern Light. Like, that's a horrible match. Terrible know. match. 
Penelope says has been you leveling up, man. And Rhino is doing something. Where's Ren Roddy? He's sacrificing. He's the only one that can actually do that falls count anywhere match. Oh my goodness! I'm. We're gonna have. We're gonna have. No, because that's gonna get stale. Ooh. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Ooh. Okay, we're just okay. gonna do it. We have to do it. That's why we're retaining all of our fans. Because yeah. Right. Yikes. Just because freaking yikes. I'm not even gonna do any. Because we're retaining all of our fans. We're in the high school gym. I'm not spending any money there. <laughs> Damn. I know. We gotta do it. I'm taking the hit this week. Yeah, I'm taking the hit this week to get a good pay-per-view going. This is the worst. Th this is let down. This is let down. You're right. <laughs> this is let down. down. Welcome to let down. We spent eighteen thousand dollars this week. I think you're saying I'm a pout when you get more fans of me this week. Oh, moolah, strong arming me right before the. Look at them mm. legs, though. Mm. Ugh. Yeah, those are some, what do they call them? Spider veins or whatever. Spider vein, spider vein. I hate being low balled, but okay. Yeah, I, I hate being that. strong arm moolah right before pay-per-view week. So, oh man, he's so happy. He loves a little spike. You can see how happy he is in the picture. He probably picked him up in the locker room and is bouncing him <laughs> off his knee. Like that chick in the bar and squeak. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Devon, things aren't working out at Raw. I'm ready Ooh. to tear up my contract and move on. Well, guess what? I already tore it up myself. Damn. It's like I Stay. tore up the toilet after Ooh, some he did leave. All right. I got so used to everyone just being like, yeah. Oh, nice. You got extra money out of that. I don't know if you saw mm. that. You got like the remainder of his contract. Strategically. All right. Promise big match or re oh, big show gets to hard. Big match or <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> D-Lo's back, baby. Come on. No. We got Big Ho to take care That's of. That's true. All right. Hold on. Now, just for the sake of that rivalry, where is D-Ho? Well, actually, what? That's only level one. What are you thinking? We'll just do it and see what happens with the pay-per-view. All right. Now I got to freaking nurse two Lesnar rivalries. Well, he has 33 stamina. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go to the power cards real quick, Ski. He's going to go to the spa. Because nice. we got to need him for next week. Um, I'll get to the power card fun in a minute. <laughs> All right. And then one of these rivalries. Who is he with? Undertaker. Yeah. Taker, you got to get on the mic. Oh, no, he can't. There we go. Call him out. Ugh. Being a GM is exhausting. And then... Who's got more stamina? Does. And he's better on the mic than this big dumb... Alright. I'm gonna call him out again. Let's juice this thing. And... So I'm not staying away from that. Hurricane and Basham, you guys can have a nice little funzy, funzy fight. Let's see how the ladies are doing. So I get Victoria back next week, which is clutch. Hey, um, well. Mula and Clubberella, you're going to continue your feud, so congrats. And then I need one more fight. I gotta trot out Ultimate Warrior. He's all I got. This is all I got right now. <laughs> you're gonna, I mean, you should have. Petrified. Like, you're gonna have feuds for the pay per view, though. And your roster is slowly getting back healthy. So, you're still gonna have. You'll have 10 weeks to, to kind of, like, work back up from it. And, I mean, you're still in first right now, anyway. I know. I, 
This is a rivalry. I think this will pop more. I just got to nail my main event. I don't know what one to make a main event, though. I do want to at least upgrade my gem ski. Let's do this. All right. I need to do match types. But I need to be strategic. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do falls count anywhere. This one's gonna be a tables match. And this one is gonna be. We'll do. This is tough. We'll do Iron Man. I think that'll be fun. I pray that they don't. I didn't get the wrong Basham for which one's gonna have a higher rating and mess up my card flow. But I think that's my show. Well, that is true. Um, all right. Forge and Fire, Hell in a Cell match was going to pop. I don't know if I want to spend 50, though. Add four weeks. I'm actually going to buy this. I feel like I'll need that. This is war. Oh, no. Can't, I can't use this as war. Oh, that would have killed them. <laughs> um, all right. I'll veto a random superstar for them. Nice. He's, he's, he's literally going to have nobody. I'm just curious to see what it's going to be. That's gonna get, I mean, it's got to be bad. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Um, do I have anyone else? I think he's... Yeah, he's not doing the promo. I can rest him. That'll help. And... I can double cost, but you already did that, Walnut, so... All right. I think that's... I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. I don't think I want any. I don't think I want anybody in this hall. So yeah, that's. Uh... I'll do that at least. All right, we have somewhat of a show. This is no, it's big. not the eighteen thousand SmackDown spent, but. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ultimate Warrior, Danny Basham, Iron Man. Ultimate Warrior takes Warrior. him down. Ooh, Great match. Good start. Good start for Raw. D'Lo Brown calls out Hardy, but just okay. Now, the match everyone's most interested in. Tables match, though. Moolah, after being a little... Um, I don't know how to say it. Raggedy. Being a little difficult... To Stephanie McMahon about her contract situation. So, Clubberella, the new fan favorite at Raw. Stephanie's putting her up to it to put Moolah through the tables as punishment. Let's see if she can hold up on that promise. She does. Nice. Moolah has back pain and contract situation. So, Undertaker, excellent job of growing the rivalry with Lesnar as Lesnar is off this week. Now, Jeff Hardy. Big match against the big show. Gets a big win. Just okay. Call out Roxky. Says Kane, you big, you dumb, and you ugly. Rivalry <laughs> grows. All right, your main what event your main falls event? count anywhere. This is my main event. Come on. Hurricane, big winner. Wow, big great. upset beating it. Both Bashams falling is not on my bingo card. That is rare, folks. And the rivalry grows. Over to SmackDown. Over to SmackDown, a.k.a. Letdown this week. <laughs> well, this best week. Thing. I mean, definitely this week. Dude. This is a rough show. Anyways, we got Rowdy Rowdy Piper's last week on the show. He said, I don't even want to talk contract negotiations. I'm out of here. 
He got me injured. Rhino says, let me at him one last time. I'll go him right through, right in half. No! Oh, no. He misses it. Wow. Right back says, I'm Great taking match, one last W, eating it up before I leave. Rico calls out uh, Mark Jindrak and gains a level. Okay, so the one, the first half works. We needed to work on the other half. Here's a horrible match. Lance Cade debuts on SmackDown whoa, whoa, whoa. Versus, versus Gunther. Come on, Gunther. McGurder. And Lance Dang. Cade takes the W, which is not too bad. We got a, we got a new <laughs> rivalry going. Dull, dull match. We knew that. Ooh, yes, nice. we get a level three. We're going to be able to finish that one up at the pay-per-view. That's really exciting. Penelope Perfect versus Nova Northern Light. Imagine two, two faces, two three, fighters. Two. Horrible match. Pro- it might be half a star, just one star. Ooh. This, Ooh, this man, oh. such an awesome promo. Literally makes us only spend four thousand dollars on this on this uh, wow. whole show because we get fourteen thousand back. What are we cutting such a great promo? Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Our main event: Kurt Angle, the world champion, against Raven. Championship is not on the line, obviously, because Raven has done nothing to deserve that. One, and in comes two, Al Snow. Three. Ooh. Surprise. Raven still wins. And we still get Raven's a good decent so curve. About it. Decent curve in a way, to be honest. And luckily we're gonna retain most of our fans too. Over to NXT where the financials are tight. And my asshole is tighter right now as we try to get through <laughs> this. Zeus and Rey Mysterio kicking us off. Zeus signed with us for free. Rey Mysterio's been struggling to find purpose in life since losing the tag team championships. And Zeus had no simpy for him and takes him down. Need three stars here. Got it. No rivalry, though. That's been the issue with Ray. Can't get him in a rivalry. Rob Van Dam calls out Mark Henry and nothing happens. So we're probably going to just end them at the pay-per-view. It said level two. It also said stale. So we'll probably give them one of the mid-card matches and just make it a submission match. Then pretty ruthless. Signed for free. Ivory's going to beat her, though. We have the fixed match card. One star. Didn't really anticipate a rivalry there. We'll roll with it. Jerry Sweat comes out, raises me $4,800 at the sacrifice of what little pop he has remaining. Thank you for your service, Jerry Sweat. Then Shelton Benjamin comes out. He's fired up. He's taking on the Godfather, and all of a sudden, X-Pac runs in, hits him in the face with a whopper. Which allows the Godfather to win. Burger King continuing to haunt one half of the tag team champions. Then Sting calls out Maven once again. Says, if you want to prove that you're worthy of this match, you're worthy of this opportunity, come show it to me. And Maven didn't show up, so the rivalry didn't go anywhere. Then our main event, Fatal 4-Way Palooza. Hell in a Cell match this time. We're, we we need both these rivalries to move. I got to get at least one of them to move. I'm begging you. I'm fighting for you. Randy Orton gets the win. Three and a half stars. Batista and Tajiri get to level three. And I cannot get the Road Dog Randy rivalry to move, but they will be fighting at the pay-per-view. Batista and Tajiri likely ending their battles at the pay-per-view. And then on to WCW. Little do they know the hell that has been wished upon them. So we got to They got to hope they enjoy. It. They have two veto champs, two veto random superstars, double cost, and two other superstars are going to get injured at the pay per view. We have no idea what the hell they're going to do to get by, but Rikishi is going to kick it off with a three and a half star match against Shannon Moore. Edge comes out and he kind of rubs his chin and goes, "I don't know how we're going to get by," and nobody liked it. <laughs> Kevin, Na- oh my god, dude! If Kevin Nash wins this, they just immediately lose the belts. I hope he does. Oh, come on. Come on, Nashikiel. Please. Please. Yes. Nice. Now they can't get vetoed. They can't get vetoed. That is they? true. Eddie oh, and Owen can't. Well, no, they could still because that's based on. That's where I messed up with RVD. It's based on how it is right, like, going into this week. So, right. they could. That could really screw because we know Nash is gone. So, those titles are getting vacated. Woo. And Eddie and Owen would still be up for veto. Oh, my God. God, sensation. <laughs> Scarla. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I know exactly where I'd be planting myself. But apparently the fans don't want us. It's minus 200. Oh, holy shit. That is a woman. <laughs> 
All right, JB Noble, Rick Steiner, come out after my dream <laughs> wife leaves the ring. JB Noble, Rick Steiner, Ballad. Rick Steiner gets the win. JB Noble seemed a little distracted, and he's oh, injured before shit. the pay per view. That's tough. That's really tough. <laughs> And then a precious silver comes out. <laughs> and nothing happens to that rivalry as Stephanie McMahon can't stop laughing in the background. The rivalry <laughs> continues to be Jazz and Gail Kim. They just keep having women's title matches. Four and a half stars. Jazz gets injured. I wonder if Mike Carton hit the injuries this week, which is also fine. I didn't look I, I didn't know if it was like the injuries would be based on the booking this week or the booking next week. Right. So it might have been this week. Because they got Ooh. two random, or I hope they Ooh. got two random injuries, but I'm assuming my card hit Jazz and Rick Steiner. So, oh, yeah, man. could be this week. That would be two of those rivalries already gone before other stuff Yikes. hits. Yikes. So, good booking for Raw, good booking for SmackDown, good booking Yikes. for NXT, good booking for WCW. They stopped being amazing. And that trend is going to continue. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior taking down Danny Basham, three and a half stars in an Iron Man match. Clubberella puts Fabulous Moolah through a table. Two and a half stars getting the rivalry to level three ahead of Survivor Series. Jeff Hardy uh, takes down the Big Show. Two and a half stars filling Big Show's promise. And then a huge upset here is the Hurricane takes down Doug Bashman in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Three and a half stars. Uh, no oh. pop on D'Lo Jeff. Taker goes to level three with Brock. And Rock goes to level three with Kane. On SmackDown, Roddy Piper gives Canada one last middle finger. But he is on six stamina, so if he gets signed, that's going to be a little hellacious. Three and a half stars. Lance Cade able to somehow survive Gunther McGurder <laughs> in a one-star match, kicking off their rivalry. Penelope able to handle the debuting Nova Northern Light as she gets ready for a possible battle with Shaniqua. And then Raven... Defeats Kurt Angle after interference from Al Snow. Says Angle Snow is stale, but that'll be ending at the pay-per-view anyway. And then we get the double pop on the callouts for the Jindrika rivalry. On the NXT side of things, Zeus beats Rey Mysterio with a three-star match. Can't buy Rey a few to save my life. Ivory gets into a rivalry with Pretty Ruthless after taking her down, and she wanted to win her next match, so she should be happy. Uh, Godfather takes down Shelton Benjamin. With an assist from X-Pac, just taunting Sean Benjamin with his free Burger King. <clears throat> and then Randy Orton wins Hell in a Cell. And for the second straight week, one rivalry goes up, but Randy Orton and Road Dogg stays at level one. So they are probably going to have a long feud. And that's okay. Batista and Tajiri will finish this up with the pay-per-view. Uh, failed to get the call out here. I think I have this level two, so that might go beyond the pay-per-view. And then this didn't work. It says the fans are growing tired of this rivalry, so we will definitely put them in a submission match. Probably... Schmack down the middle of the card. So my thinking was when I got blocked at the last pay-per-view that I could just, when I, I couldn't do the Smash Drive first because of money. And I was like, okay, I'll let this kind of like go to the pay-per-view and be level four. Clearly that plan did not work, but you know, the more, you know, uh, Rikishi, Shannon Moore get three and a half stars in their stale rivalry. Kevin Nash on his way out wins the WCW tag titles alongside Ezekiel. Rick Steiner takes down Shan or Jamie Noble in a three and a half star match level three rivalry that won't be booked to the pay per view because Jamie Noble's injured three weeks, and then Jazz is injured three weeks, which means the stale rivalry uh, won't get finished at the pay per view, and hopefully Xavier Woods uh, keeps being stale. Mm. And then fans are tired of Precious Silver and Nydia, so nothing happened there either. And then obviously shout outs to whatever her name was, I already forgot Stella. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get vetoed. She needs <laughs> right. to be at the pay-per-view. She deserves to be at the pay-per-view. She needs to be the one taking the title off Gail Kim. All right, so let's see how our go show went. Hurricane is a natural and false hey, kind of hey, 46,000 fans, $76,000 to Raw. Roddy Piper, per false count anywhere. Keep that in mind. 39,000 fans for SmackDown, $88,000. But again, using that card definitely clutched you out there, yeah, uh, keeping that retention up. And then on my side, I ran my, I keep running my money thin, $38,000. How are the money looking? $112,000. Oh. Hopefully I don't have any contract negotiations 
going into the pay-per-view. So our standings are going to pop up after this because I forgot there's four brands. 60,000 fans. What the fuck are they doing? $86,000. Wow. Closing in on a mill. They're God bribing everyone damn. over there. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. We'll handle WCW. All right. So coast to coast to yeah. the cheek for the commissioner goal. Free special effects for SmackDown. Nice. nice. Get Ooh. my trophy. Oh wait, that's not the that's not the challenge. That was for earning two million in revenue. Wow. Ooh. So okay. that I am closing in on two trophies then I think. Well, one more, which would be the second one. That's true. Ooh. So okay. there you can see. I WCW even if Xavier Woods doesn't get a trophy though, I want to have more fans than him. You know what I mean? Facts. Like Facts. I'm driven by it. So I have, so I will be closing in on a second trophy. You guys, if I got two million revenue, I assume you guys aren't super far behind that. Um, right. I don't know how Woods doesn't. I'm kind of confused, like how Woods doesn't have it. But I guess it's revenue. It's got to be like what's earned, not just like how well you've balanced your budget. But right, Woods is up a good chunk on us going into this pay per view. <clears throat> Cheek, I believe, yeah. is going to be opening his emails here. And then we'll round up our thoughts before Survivor Series. But let's see what uh, – we know we didn't play anything on each other. Let's see if Woods did oh, – Oh, my God. What? Oh, the Hurricane. That's not oh, bad. Oh, no. That's not as bad. I that's great. But... Hurricane's most popular, though, is wild. I know. That's what sucks. Dang it. And that's probably what just because you uh, – going – so, obviously, it shifted now. But going into last week, you were considered second. Or, well, considered first by the game. So that's probably why he went for you. Man, that sucks. And then now Bubba's getting pissed. <laughs> hmm. You can hit uh, Y if you want to check before your decision. So He's angry. Two and five, Ooh. one promo. 56 pop, 45 stamp. See ya. I already got rid of Devon. I don't need your sorry ass. Mm. Spike, you got Spike Dudley. That's what matters. That's all you need, really. And then you get a little bit of money back. Some amazing growth out of me. Whoa. Hey, yo. Hello? <laughs> Do you appreciate all I've done? Oh, I she's mean, just straight like, <laughs> she's straight like, give me the moolah. That's crazy. I absolutely appreciate what you bring to, to the role. You're one of the top stars. I want to offer you a bonus. I appreciate like, you. What? I can't show you special treatment. She just walked in the Hold door on. and said, "Can I have fifty thousand dollars?" So she's she's annoyed, but she has star power. She is a yeah, she's legend. Got, yeah. And she has sixty-two popularity, and she's three promo skill. I'll give her fifty k because I saved some money from letting Bubba's sorry that's ass fair. go. Yeah, I think that's a fair decision. <laughs> Hopefully, her morale shoots. Yeah, major Damn. increase. Okay, so hit hit. Yeah, I was going to say, because... Oh, look how satisfied she is now with her. Moolah is so definitely... Satisfied. So satisfied. So, she's got the Clubberella rivalry going. Moolah is a fitting name for her. All right, All right. so... That'll bring us to this episode. I'm going to back us out just to the menu to show our fan totals here. But, we <laughs> uh, the next episode is going to be intense, because not only, obviously, are we going to be booking our pay-per-views and doing as we've been doing spectating one match a piece we're also going to get to see whatever the hell it is that wcw throws together because again they're getting hit with double cost they had two random superstars get injured on the last show courtesy of my card they have two random superstar vetoes and two champs vetoed so it's going to rain down pretty heavy on WCW. If he somehow still beats us, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. So I'm going to go, Chico, I'll go to you first because you, you, know, you had your emails and stuff there. You know, what do you think of going into the pay-per-view? How are we feeling sitting second place I, currently? I feel pretty awesome. I feel like I got some rivalries and some good spots. Unfortunately, Woods is a little bitch and used a veto card on me. And so I don't have Hurricane this week, which sucks. Um, like I, I have a lot of other high end superstars, but not having Hurricane um, for one of those matches really sucks. Especially with the pay per views, you got extra matches to fill on your card. Um, but 
we all got our axes out and it's time to chop down the woods. We're gonna kick them all down and forth. Yeah, so that's all I gotta say. Make sure you tune in for the next pay per view show. You will not want to miss it. In Canada, over to you. Arguably the biggest woods chopper of them all. Three cards courtesy <laughs> of you. I know. Going out to yeah. Xavier. Um, yeah, we're all around like seventy to one hundred thousand fans behind him. Um, you know, where, where's your mindset as you get ready for Survivor Series? Feeling pretty good. I obviously kind of sold that last uh, SmackDown show just to get everyone to a nice uh, overall. And I might as well, you know, give a little tease. I wasn't going to give my game plan, but since we're going right into Survivor Series, I actually have a lot of cards that will give me money back on uh, arena bookings and uh, special effects. So I'm going all out for this pay-per-view. We're talking talking specialty matches up the ass. We're talking all the effects. We're talking all the run-ins. You don't want to miss Survivor Series. It's going to be intense. And obviously, all brands going up against each other is going to be a pretty good time as well. Yeah, we've got a we've got a special Survivor Series special, which we're going to be breaking down uh, as we watch the pay per view. So not only are we going to have our normal GM mode pay per view, but you guys are going to get a little special sizzle after that pay per view as well. So the episode, the video will be just pay per view, but there's some cooking afterwards as well that I think you guys are going to really love as we battle for brand supremacy. And on my side, I feel decent. We've got extra match cards because I forgot to use them last month. Uh, so I think I put on a good show. I might have to, due to financials, really take advantage of the Fatal 4-Way, making some stuff cheaper for me. Um, so it may be a little unorthodox compared to what the initial plan was for me. Um, I may have to grab a couple jobbers to throw in just a random put-away match in the middle. Uh, you know, kind of depend what sort of contract negotiations, everything I have. But I, you know, I intend to go pretty heavy. I, you know, I want to use those match card stipulations Take advantage of this opportunity. I am in, you know, first now. Um, I know I've got another trophy coming. Um, was not expecting that revenue trophy. I was kind of out of left field, but I assume you guys, you guys get that as well. Uh, so yeah, so I think we've got three great shows coming, and then you know, like I said, I'm kind of excited to see uh, what Woods throws together. So make sure you guys are subscribing if you haven't. And again, I mean, if you're at this point in the video, you obviously like what the hell is going on here. So get yourself subscribed. Make sure you're seeing the next one. And up next is going to be our Survivor Series watch along. So until then, toodles.